got a little bit of. Yeah, render. now it's now it's really good. I think. Is it good? Okay. Yeah, I think it's good. I think this should be really good. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. It's just coming in quicker. That's what the chat's for, so you know what I'm responding to. <laughs> um, yeah, now I think it's like two seconds. Till I will day. take oh, two no, seconds. Really I am going yeah, to lose. Really, really good. I got fourth place. That's awesome. I hate this. <laughs> Harsh. <laughs> I'll blame the stream <laughs> lag. <laughs> Damn. Excuses already. So, I don't know, you have any tips for Fire Mountain, or is it just kind of a get good scrub kind of thing? Mm. I mean, there is a route we use in, uh, uh, in speedruns. Uh -huh. Because one thing that's interesting about the CPUs is that um, if you do the same movement, they they have like a certain pattern they follow. Really? Yeah, so you can, you can kind of uh, know what they're going to do. So we have like made a really good route that makes it a really high chance that you will succeed every time. Interesting. But like, it, you know, it's hard to keep, because it's hard to know exactly what makes them go off route sometimes. Yeah. But since it's, you know, 3D game, it's not like, you know, hold right to press A at the right time. It's like, yeah. It's like a 3D space, so it's a little harder. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, it's, um, it's definitely, um, I'm doing a little bit better this time. Yeah, the, <laughs> so this is like, this is like a 45 second thing in the speedrun. Okay. It's like 40 to 45 seconds is usually it's... what it takes to be from start to finish. Okay. They stole your rig. He did, I saw that. <laughs> While I was there. Exactly. No. He didn't even try to hide it. No. Please, please, please hatch. Thank you. Alright, there we go. And we got our first part piece of the TT amulet. Hey, board, I'm doing well. <laughs> and quiz. What do you need the TT amulet for? The end of the game? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I imagine most people have played this, right? Glad to hear, Espio. Oh, silver coins. I'm only doing Adventure 1 today, too. I'm not doing both. Yeah, that's a little exaggerated. <laughs> Um, so let's see, what else can I ask Giz about speedrunning and just Diddy Kong Racing in general? What's your favorite map in this game? Jungle That's a good Falls. question. Jungle Falls? Yeah. It's a good one. Yeah, the main reason for that is because it's a track that's really connected. Like, if you see a, like a speedrun and you watch Jungle Falls and you get to you know, a clean Jungle Falls, yeah. You'll see how, how connected everything is, which is really cool. Because, mm -hmm. I, mean, I mean, the creator didn't intend people to go that fast in the game. Yeah. But it just, like, happened... It just happened to be a super well-connected, fast level. Yeah. So I think it's, I think it's really cool that they, uh, they managed to do something, like, really crazy about that level. How much time do you spe spend? Um, See. I've spent uh, probably it's hard to okay. estimate, but five to seven thousand hours on the Kong Racing maybe. Wow. Yeah. See so, yeah, how uh, Zombie. It, dep it, it depends on there, there's like a lot of oh yeah, fifteen bits. Thank you for the bits, I appreciate it. Twenty four seven speed running. Uh, depends on what kind of thing you uh, you mean by like a figure out. There are different things that people have done to figure things out. Like some tricks were found kind of on accident, or sometimes you just look for them and you happen to find them. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, like, um... um. Or, or sometimes you actually... A few tricks have been found through going through a hex editor and looking at addresses and stuff like that. But that's not super common for this game, specifically. But it has happened for at least one glitch that I know. Well, I'm, I'm like, curious, like, the, uh, Tricky Skip, who discovered that one? Uh, a guy called Bash. Yeah, Alright. And it was just kind of an accident thing, probably? Maybe? Or was that a digging through the hex code, mm, kind of? No, he was actually, he was actually checking things out. Like, he, he was playing on an emulator and okay. he used a hex editor gotcha. to check, like, he was checking out where the checkpoints were. Okay. Because he was, he kind of wanted to, um, oh, your stream, stream died, yeah, for a second. It'll reconnect really soon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, of course. <laughs> It's it's gonna oh. be one of those days. I paused. It's quote fine. quote quote conquer. What was clunk, conquer quote? Oh, it's gonna be one of those days. Pretty much. Oh yeah, you... bad for a day. I was I was yeah. thinking City Kong Racing. Like what the... does conquer say? Yeah. <laughs> in bad in Kong's bad for a day. Yeah. One sec. Oh. All right, so you might have to. Bring back. Yeah. We should be reconnecting. In uh, all right. All right I, lo I love. I love. I like. It's like not even dropping, and then it, all of a sudden it just like the internet <laughs> just stopped. And it, it's yeah. not the internet itself. It's just OBS because I'm still talking to you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't understand. So, I think I your computer is bad. <laughs> well, yeah, it's an old it's an old university computer that I bought for really cheap. Yeah. So okay, now we're back. We're we're back. Yeah. Oh, uh, I'm not sure where I was. So. Um, oh yeah, with with tricky skip. Yes. <laughs> so the thing with tricky that's really unique. It's uh, well, not only in tricky but a few races. The new, unique thing there is that it's only one lap. You know, you you go up the mountain and just finish. So what he wanted to do was to check where the checkpoints were on the level, and he discovered that there are two checkpoints in the corner, uh, like behind the goal line, that technically are behind the actual goal line, and they are ticking, like, like tick 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 every frame. Yeah. And if you leave the the area and go forward on one of them, it's going to leave on one that's not going to be able to count backwards again to the real one. So it's going to think that you're going the wrong way, and when and then the game is going to count as you drive backwards, and it's a lot closer, you know, like going from like checkpoint 43 to 38 than going from you know zero to 38. Yeah. So therefore, you just drive backwards for like five checkpoints and then bam, and stuff. Huh. Interesting. So th that's like the idea, and he, he found this through looking at the hex, like with the the addresses in the game. Yes, I know about Taz and Bishawk emulators. I'm pretty sure he uses Bishawk, maybe yeah. Yupin. I'm not sure which one he uses for finding the trick. However, this game is really badly. Uh, this game is really badly emulated, so it's actually uh, um, banned for speedrunning because it's way too fast. Ah. So testing this game is kind of worthless. So because you know. The speed and stuff you get from the zippers and all that is just overpowered compared to console. And so the tasks doesn't really mean anything. Yeah. Huh. I actually didn't real. I did. I knew. I, I knew emulators were banned, but I wasn't sure why. Yeah. Now I know. It's just because they are like just overpowered in general. Yeah. And you can see like there are a few levels that Fash have uh, have tasks and mm. like as you know a speedrunner you will see a lot of stuff where it's like, oh yeah, this is not gonna happen. <laughs> you know, it's like, literally not possible in console, yeah. a lot of stuff. So it's just like, you know, emulator only tricks and stuff to gotcha. do in the test. And I, I feel like that doesn't really have any value for the actual speedrunning uh -huh. community. Obviously it's cool, you know, to see the tracks being <laughs> completed really, really fast, but mm -hmm. it would have been more unrealistic. I gotcha. I almost forgot where all of these silver coins were. Yeah, <laughs> there's one behind. And one on the left. 
think I got him. Yep, I got him. Sheesh, yeah. <laughs> Where SPO was asking about the routing and stuff, I think uh -huh. that stuff comes up with time. Just sitting there and uh, figuring like, it out. Just like, yeah, I think like the people play it in different ways. And this game is kind of interesting because it's like the movement is really free. Yeah. So sometimes people use like different routes on the levels, but they get similar times. Okay. And yeah, so it kind of depends on like your style of play. And you know, people playing over time to see what they uh, like. What is the best for each player? How does it for? Yeah, that's not allowed for this game. I've noticed a lot of rare games actually having trouble emulating, like Banjo Tooie and yeah, those games were really bad. Like rare games are really, really bad for emulation. Which I guess good for the programmers. I guess? Yeah, yeah maybe. Uh, Alright, time for tricky part two. Tricky skip. Uh, <laughs> Can you do it for both? Yeah. Oh. I don't know, have you tried it? Before? I have not. Oh. <laughs> what do you do? You just kind of go oh, to you the... just you, you spin around and... Uh, well, you just turn around and you get into the corner. Like in the... It's hard... Okay, so you, if you just want to try, you turn around. Okay, so you want to get that corner, yeah. Yeah, that corner. In this corner, and then you want to drive out of it straight forward. So like here? Yeah, just straight forward. Okay. And if you buy the like red balloon, you want to have more speed. Okay. So if you drive out of that corner, and then you drive straight forward here, and okay. you see it's being wrong way. Yeah. You're, you're not driving far enough. Gotcha. If it's, you need to like draw, drive further to see the wrong way sign. Yeah. So like turn, take the turn around, like hit the corner, and then just like drive out. Okay. Saw the wrong the way, but value. not. Okay, this is odd. I'd have to look. Maybe I should look at some. Uh... Wait a second. <laughs> like don't grind the wall. Like you don't want to okay. grind. You just want to gotcha. get into this corner. That's it, and then just drive out normal, like drawn on the road. But if it says the wrong way when you are like further, like by the red okay. balloon, gotcha. it doesn't work. This okay, if I'll just if it says the wrong way when you when you are at the red balloon, then interesting. You have, then it works. Then you can just keep driving normally. Uh, I'll just do it. I'll just do it regular today. Maybe I'll try it later. <laughs> it's actually it's actually not hard. I think it's I think you'll make it in a few attempts. I mean, I've I've also I've also had the thing where I tried to do the out of bounds for a hot top volcano, and because I'm doing the in is it, is it would it okay? It's a tricky skip skip in NTSC version. No. Okay, tricky that might skip be a problem. Is, uh, universal. Oh, it's no, universal. No, I mean, it's like it's, it's universal. It doesn't matter which version you do. Gotcha. That's what I wasn't sure about. <laughs> because yeah, I'm there's playing. There's only one. Yeah, there's only one out of bounds trick that doesn't work on all the versions. Oh, gotcha. And it's a uh, spaceport alpha out of bounds. Yeah. That's what made me think of it. Yeah. So spaceport alpha out of bounds is the only one that's version specific, and it's specific to the uh, Japanese version. Okay, gotcha. Which because is why you the run. Japanese version. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the first. It's the first um, version of the game, and they forgot to add a texture on top of. One of those things to, on the sides. Yeah. So you can just drive out of bounds. Oh, but yeah, no, I've I've done um, what was it? Oh no, I did the out of bounds for Hot Top Volcano and locked up my cartridge because <laughs> I think I went too oh. far down. Yeah, that's possible. So I was. If you just... drive, if you drive downwards and you get voided out, um, it can crash your game sometimes. Yeah. All right. But it's kind of kind of rare. Like it's not that common. Yeah, I have it. I have it clipped on Twitch somewhere. I don't know if it's still active clip or not. Yeah, okay, but it's like in most, like in all other tracks, there are no other tracks that crashes the game if you void out this oh, really hot top volcano. Huh. Yeah. What happens if you void out? It just, you just, you just get back to the like the goal line. Oh, okay, gotcha. Because the goal line is kind of a reset point. Aren't gonna go for the trophy. Trophy! I forgot about the trophy! 
Ah. Yeah, just do card challenge and ride back in. First. Sure. Yeah, because we need the four trophies to get to future fun then. That is true. Save a trip by doing it already. That's why you're here, kids. <laughs> um, and Jam Jars. Rusty Bucket Bay versus Grunty Industries. Ooh, that's a tough one, but I'm going to have to go with Rusty Bucket Bay because Grunty Industries is uh, a little confusing. Yeah. Played through 2E. Uh, Took about a month. I do like, I do like 2E better than, uh, than Kazooie. In, oh, why in general, is that? But, um, I think I, li I like the concept more. Okay. Because BK is more, you know... Uh, it's more like you know, Super Mario 64 kind of, yeah. you know, it's like this world, you do everything here, and then it's like done, and you don't have to do anything in that world anymore. It's just okay. like over. And then you go to the next one, and the next one. Like, Bender 2 is pretty cool because you go um, you go back. Like, you, you know, there's a lot of backtracking sometimes, but I, I like the concept of, you know, everything yeah. being connected. You, like, walk into a door, and it's like, whoop, and then you just end up in another level. I think that's, like, really... The, so well, more well thought out, I think. I guess that makes sense. I, my, for, for me, I know I, I probably wouldn't care as much for it because of um, all the backtracking. And, you know, there were some of those levels that you had to go back to at the very end. That <laughs> yeah. There, it could have been better executed, but it wasn't bad, if that makes sense. Yeah. So of course, there are things that could have been better in the game. And yeah. this is a case for this game, too. <laughs> oh, for of. sure. And I was playing but, the Xbox uh, remasters, not the N64 versions. Oh, yeah, okay. Which, uh... Where, where you can't skip text. Yeah, you can't skip text, and, um... The opening cutscene is out of sync audio-wise, like, music track-wise. It was kind of funny to watch, actually. Because I know, I know, like the cadence of the music for the opening cutscene, and I'm watching it, and I'm like, "This isn't right. This isn't right." <sighs> Do I have time to peer league on Sunday? I have no idea what I'm doing on Sunday, so stay tuned. Question mark. Um, I've been playing a lot of Splatoon Giz. Um, so yeah. Which, which console? Uh, Switch. You should add me as a friend. Oh, I got I a Switch recently, actually. Oh, nice. I didn't know that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you'll have to shoot me your friend code at some point. Yeah, Milk Fiend. Yes, the real first Banjo game. Yeah. It is, and I'm glad that people know that. Yes, that's why... People get surprised, usually, when you say that. Yeah, I was going to play this first, actually, but then I was having some issues with the 64 stuff, so that's why I started with Banjo-Kazooie. <laughs> On the Xbox. On the yeah. Xbox, yeah, I was using the Rare Replay. Yeah, makes sense. I have this uh, capture, like, it's a converter from AV to HDMI, and it's, I mean, you can see it on stream, it's not terrible. It's, I'm playing directly from the console. Oh yeah, Jam Jar's in 64, you will lose your notes if you die in the first game. Which makes Rusty Bucket better if you're playing it on Xbox. Which I, that's what I did. Yeah, because of the engine room. Yeah, the, yeah, the engine room is ridiculous. Looks like it would on your TV. Well, there you go. Um, Giz, you've you've raced over at GDQ, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. Twice. Twice. Okay. Any plans on returning? I have been. I do want to go to GDQ this year, mm -hmm. but I'm not probably not going to play. But okay. We'll see. It depends, you know. I'm, I'm not sure if you know how it works with the submissions and stuff. Not at all. <laughs> oh, so, I mean, there's a lot of people that want to play it here so quick. So, uh -huh. you can't just be like, say like, oh, I'll play, you know? Yeah. It's not like they are begging you to play. It's like, yeah. you have you have like a an account on the website and uh -huh. you, su you submit runs that you can offer. So you say like, Oh, I can play DKR 80%, I can play DKR 100%, I can play DKR Ultra Freezes, or something like that, and I tell them, I write like a little thing, like, this is why you should pick this game, and why, you know. Oh, gotcha. So you kind of like, yeah, so you kind of have to write something down and like have a good offer so that they will take it. Interesting. 
because um. they only take they only take like a hundred or what is it like a hundred submissions or so, and there are usually like two thousand or two and a half thousand gotcha. submissions. So yeah, they're it's not that likely to get in. So I'm kind of likely to have been playing twice in some way. That's pretty awesome though. I, I I was amazed that they was it this year that they uh, raised over three million dollars for yeah this year this charity right. three million it's actually crazy it is crazy <laughs> uh, we're almost done with uh, Dino Domain <laughs> and that only took oh I forgot I reset my uh, stream my uptime is ruined actually how long have I been in let's say. So, if Jungle Falls is your favorite map, what would you consider your least favorite? My least favorite stage, yeah. I mean, I actually, I actually made a tier list. Oh, did you? Of, of the levels uh, a few weeks ago. Oh wait, I think I did see that. Now that you're saying yeah. that, uh, there so, are yeah. some of them that I wasn't sure if I agreed with, but. I do remember seeing but that. The worst there. one is the worst one is hover challenge. Hover challenge. Oh, hover challenge. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's so bad. But Which... I mean, I'm not sure if that counts as a track for you. Maybe if you're, but, but like that's the worst one for sure for me. Yeah, which but, I think I don't remember how many balloons you need, but I think I might have to do that once I get out of here. Yeah. Sure. See, Ches, Ches, Ches. She says. I know. Yeah. She says. Isn't that, isn't that the boundary the, guy? Yeah, he's the boundary break guy. Yeah, I mean, this, I think things are so cool, those videos. Oh, for where sure. They, like, they, like, zoom out and look from other perspectives when they look at cutscenes and stuff. Yeah. It's cool. But, yeah, I'm, I don't know. I'm, like, more into, you know, speed running than, like, breaking games, I guess. Yeah. Um, there is... But, it, but it's, it's fun. Of course. Can't play with one hand. That's fine. <laughs> I went to go get a, get a drink of my... Coke and... Nope! Hover challenge time! Yeah, <laughs> this is the worst. <laughs> uh, the main reason is because like the fastest movement option for for uh, Hovercraft is to do something called snaking. Uh, and uh, yeah, you hold the R button and do kind of what he does here. Left and right. Snaking. Yeah. But you need to do it pretty well because otherwise you lose speed. Yeah. I'm staying at a nice uh, 60 miles, or kilometers. Is it kilometers, or is it just, it doesn't say. I, pr I think it's kilometers per hour, because it's uh, a British That makes sense. That it, yeah. but I'm not really sure. I don't think it's stated anywhere. It's like, you know, yeah. velocity units. So, I like, I mean, breaking games is fun. I mean, I know a lot of glitches and stuff in this game. <laughs> uh, and how to do most of all that kind of stuff. Yeah. It's fun, but it's like I think I am more into speed running in general than like just breaking games. I think, but they go hand in hand for sure. They do. I mean, just watch, just watching the DKR speed runs and such like that, you're breaking the yeah. game there. <laughs> Especially oh, yeah. if you're doing like any percent or. Uh... Yep. I the it's amazing finding you know. There's all of these seams and cracks that you can sneak through in this game. Yeah. With... Like in any percent, the first race you do is was big. Yeah. Yeah. And you have to do this super stupid precise um, plane maneuver to get underneath the level. Grace, so I'm not sure. I don't know if that is something. Grace. Oh, I'm not familiar with that one. Dang it. How like, is why I is think, that? I think I'm pretty bad at watching like like general gaming channels on YouTube. Yeah, I'm more you know into watching Twitch Other and like runners. Speed yeah. And runs and stuff. Yeah. Oh wait, we want to go to we'll do it in order. Go with uh, Ever not Ever Frost Peak. What do you call Snowflake Mountain? <laughs> Snowflake, that's what Snowflake it's called. Mountain. It depends on what you mean, though. I mean, according to the balloon requirement, 
Mm -hmm. um, Snowflake Mountain is the second world. Yeah. But if you go to the tracks mode, Sherbet Island is the second mode, uh, world. So. Oh, I forgot about that. I, I don't understand why that's a thing, but... <laughs> no, me neither. But it is. We'll so, go, we'll, I don't know why. We'll go with the balloon requirements since it's adventure mode. Yeah. <laughs> My guess is that it has something to do with uh, the boss difficulty. I think... Oh. I mean, the, uh, the walrus is a lot easier to beat blur. Yeah. Like, bl bluey is a lot easier. I hate the um, octopus second with the bubbles. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Bubbler. Bubbler, that's Bubbler. the. Yes. Yeah. Well done, shrimp. Is he. Is... <laughs> <laughs> so is Bubbler called Miner in the first time because he's doing mines? <laughs> that would have been good. <laughs> Spike Baller. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh, so no. you, you gotta Bubble. switch. What game, what game did you get for the Switch? So far, I have uh, Smash, I have uh, Mario Kart 8, and Crash Team Racing. Oh, nice! I have all of those, so yes. Nice. Definitely. But it's pretty hard, me. like, uh, Crash Team Racing, the the ghosts are, like, the staff ghosts or whatever, you know, they are actually really hard to beat. I haven't played too much of the Crash Team Racing yet, because I was thinking it's about really streaming good. it at some point, but... I think you'll like it. That's what I'm thinking. It's just a remaster of the original one, isn't it? Huh? It's a remat or remaster of the original yeah, Crash Team yep. Racing, isn't it? Yeah, it's a, yeah. It's a remaster. But it's I, also, I think they have added some stuff, like they've redone a few things. Gotcha. But I, I've never played the original, so... I can't say I have either, but I liked the, uh, I got the Crash Insane, which are the, uh, first three remastered. Yeah. Yeah. And I went through those, and they're pretty fun. Yeah, they are kind of hard, but... <laughs> yeah. Let's see here. What you need is some aiming. <laughs> I would not recommend... I would not recommend... Uh... <laughs> see, I'd like to see C up to zoom in <laughs> in this game. It's really yeah. bad. Like that? <laughs> yeah. That's uh, it's terrible to drive like that. Gotcha. It's so funny because, um, you know, Banjo has this backpack that he's had, and they don't show Kazooie. I, I don't remember if the manual says anything about Kazooie being in the backpack. He's he's not. The, man okay. the, the, the manual says that, like, like uh, he was up for adventures even before his, like, uh, partnership with Kazooie. Yeah. So it's kind of assumed that he's not in. Gotcha. But Kazooie is, however, mentioned in the manual. So. Gotcha. Um, I've done a cosplay of Banjo before back, it's been about five or six years now, but... I had my backpack, but I didn't have a Kazooie, <laughs> and so I was trying to tell people, she's not always in there. Yeah. And they didn't get it. You sell it from DTR. Yeah, there you go. And that's the only banjo that actually speaks, too. Or actually has a voice line. Yeah. But it's funny, though, you know, in the... You know, I'm not sure if you've ever noticed, but in the intro... I like you know the thing the characters select. You know uh -huh. that they uh, change the instrument the, like depending on which character you're hovering yeah. over. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. And they have the same thing, you know, in the intro where they play. Um, you know, like when they're showing all the characters and stuff, and they yeah. go around. Uh huh. And in when the when banjo comes up, they play a banjo and a kazoo. You know what? I don't know if I've noticed that. Yeah. Because it's like you're like. But here's like, yeah. It's like a kazoo. So they actually do play a kazoo and a banjo at the same time. Banjo's That's up. Interesting. I'm gonna have to check that out yeah. at later. And jam jars. Have you have you played the Xbox version? Because that egg aim one, they messed that up for you because it's not the same. <laughs> they, they they messed your rhymes up. Oh, 
Oh wait, I haven't played these maps. I was like pressing A to try to skip the uh, opening cutscene thing, but it didn't do. Uh, that's actually okay. So we actually do another thing for that in speedrunning. So we have right? we do. Yeah, I mean it's it's not really called a cutscene skip, uh, but it technically is. Because the cutscene skip is what we do at the end of the race, you know, when we pause on the last. Yeah, screen. that's what that is. Okay, yeah. Yeah, but the interesting thing is like if you pause and you restart the race, then it has counted as if you've already played it, so then you can skip it. Gotcha. Is it much faster to do it that way? Yeah. Depends on the level. Like some levels have, some levels have like four second intros. Oh wow. And then it's then it saves like you know two three seconds. But wow. some of them, like this one, actually is pretty funny that you asked about this level. Because this level is one of out of two levels that it isn't faster. So this is a level where you should watch the uh, cutscene. Oh wow. This has been you want to try to get the cutscene skip? Try to get the cutscene skip. Pause at the last frame. Is, yes, I've done this. Dang it! <laughs> uh, this stream. Because you I'm... know, you need to grab the key here. Later. Oh, you're right, that's here. Yeah. Let's do that now before I forget. <laughs> so I don't have to worry about the um, silver coins. Yeah, so just try off to the left. Yeah. Wow, you know how long it's been since I've actually done a full run of this game? <laughs> it's been Probably a couple a long time. <laughs> It's been a couple years. Yeah. And you can just quit. <laughs> Uh, yeah. And this is oh, this is the icicle pyramid. That's that one. Um, I like that one actually. It's a pretty funny um, icicle pyramid. The speed running strat there is really interesting because that was always a run killer. Before. Yeah. <laughs> because it, like it's really hard to adjust, like get the CPUs to do whatever you want. Yeah. But this, like, this is a really weird story behind that. But so one day I was watching a casual player, just like you, you know, play uh -huh. DKR just for fun. Yeah. And he was like playing, you know, normally. I was like hanging out. It was like nothing special. Uh huh. And he was playing a mini game. It was this. It was actually Smoky Castle, though. But. He just like spammed all of his buttons, you know, like you know, he was just fooling around, just yeah. spammed all the buttons while he was waiting for the get ready to go thing. Yeah. And what I noticed is that like his cart was rolling backwards a little bit before the goal. Yeah. It's like, wait, why is that a thing? Like I've never seen that before. Uh huh. So I just turned on my console and I went to trip mini game, and then I noticed that you actually it's actually possible to reverse before the uh, go comes up yeah. in the mini games. And that was really weird because like, whoa, like I've never seen that. How can I have missed this? How can yeah. everyone have missed this? You yeah. Know? <laughs> and then I like tried something out and, and I made like a spin. Yeah. I spun around and like drove up and did like a normal strat. And what do you know? For some reason, that's a really consistent strat. So, huh. like, that's the fastest and like most consistent strat uh, there is. Huh. And it just randomly happened because it's like I I came up with the idea just because I saw a casual player do something that no one in the speedrun community had ever yeah come up with before. Kind of awesome. It was actually. really weird. Yeah, it's really weird. So, and of course, I was a little lucky that the strat I tried, the first strat I tried, actually worked. Oh, really well. Now I'm gonna try this cutscene skip every time and we'll see if I can get it at all. <laughs> you should. And then you go to return to lobby. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It does say you first like, go across the screen. I've done it once, like once before, and I think it was after watching you play for a little bit, and I was like, I could do that. I yeah, couldn't do it. It's perfect. <laughs> It's very, very perfect, but it's like, you know, it's not insanely hard anyways. Like, you, I mean, you get, like, goal iron, so you can kind of time it, you know? Yeah. But it's, uh, it's, 
it's annoying because in a 100% run you have to do it 40 times. Oh yeah. That's really, really, that's kind of crappy. Yeah, that is 40 times, wow. Yeah. I, was, I didn't count that on. I don't know if I've ever counted how many times you'd have to do that. Yeah. In, in any percent, you only have to do it eight times. Eight? Really? Yeah. You only do eight traces uh, that have custom skips and that are in the Gotcha. Well, oh yeah, because you're doing mostly uh, trophy races down Diamond Domain, right? Yeah. So you only do Diamond Domain, that's it. You do the regular races in Diamond Domain and then you don't have to do anymore. Because it skips after that. I don't know if I've just gotten better, but I feel like all of these races are so slow. Yeah. They yeah, are. That's what I kind of told you about this race. Like, if you play as Plipsy and stuff, yeah. it's really, it can be pretty hard to beat this boss if you're a casual player. Gotcha. But if you use like Banjo and stuff, it's really easy. Yeah, I've always played as Banjo. That's just me. Well, until I discovered TT. It actually took me a while to uh, first realize that TT was a thing, and then unlock him. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was in like high school when it happened. Yeah. I knew about drumstick, how to unlock drumstick, but that was about it. All right, silver coin time. Oh wait, no, oh, well, we'll do it later. Could have done icicle pyramid right there, but. I already jumped in. <laughs> Let's see if I can remember where all these are. Okay. I'm just gonna... Let's let's do Icicle Pyramid first. <laughs> Icicle Pyramid? Yeah. So try that just for fun. Like, try what I said. Back up, back right? Up. And... Yeah. <laughs> just, just for fun, like, as you can see. What? Isn't it weird? That is odd! Uh, <laughs> huh. And you could do that with Smoky Castle and this one. Probably, I don't know if, you, can you do that with, uh, oh gosh, what are the other two? Because um, the other one you're in a hover and a plane. Yeah. The only thing you can do those that are very also specific to those is that you can spin it around. Like, you can, like, if you tap like left or right and the on the stick you can actually turn around gotcha. before the really go. Which is also something you can't do in another any other press. Interesting. Not a... I think the personally, I think that the uh, mini games are probably the weakest part of this game, even though it's the most unique. I think it depends. I didn't I think... say yeah, it's not bad. It's just the weakest part. Yeah, I think. Oh yeah, would you want to learn something else that's cool? What's up? Uh, in this level, so go grab a whole rocket. Okay. And um, if there's someone like through the wall, you know, if you see like, someone in the base, the basement. Oops. Yeah. Good bit, yeah. So go, go look where he is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like stand right at the wall. So you want to like you know be kind of not inside the wall, but you know, uh, like on the same floor. Yeah. And then you can release. Through the wall? Yeah, try that, try it out. Right, so, let him... Okay, he's... Yeah, he went back up. <laughs> oh, so... Wait. wait, where'd you come from? Okay, just don't shoot him. Like, just let him drive. Okay, so set up against the wall. And, okay, he's just... Yeah, this is good. Just release. Whoa, it hit him! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I'm learning so much. And now Diddy comes dead. 
Ripperoni. Okay, we're getting close here. Yeah, this is... It's time to use... Uh, oh, okay, he's going up. Yeah. Got him. Nice. Halfway there, TT wise. Ugh. Yep. Oh my goodness. This is a good game, though. It's probably in my top 5 in 64 games. How's it not top 1? Banjo. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them? The first one specifically. What? Tui, would, you rank, would you rank Bandit 2 over DKR? Tui would probably be number 3, DKR would probably be 2. And then there's uh, Mario 64 is probably up there. What else am I missing? I don't know. GoldenEye. You know what? I actually never owned GoldenEye until about this year. Or last year, so whenever good. I bought it. Yeah, I found it on that's eBay. A, that's a shame. That's yeah. such a good game. I played it before. My cousin used to have it, but I never, I never owned it. So I don't have as much nostalgia as most of the other gaming community. Yeah. The music in this game is phenomenal, though. I can tell you that. It's, it ain't Grant Kirkhope, but it's not, it's not bad. Dude, this is better than Benny Kazooie music. Them's almost fighting words there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Benji Kazoo has amazing music, don't get me yeah. wrong, but the KR is kind of unbeatable mm -hmm. when it comes to jolly like music and, you know. Oh, yeah. But it's like, it's so different. Like It is very different. DKR, it's like, it's, it's perfect for this game, but it's like, I mean, you couldn't put the DKR music into Benji Kazooie. And yeah, and vice versa. versa. You know? Yeah. You can't do that. Because <laughs> I, I do think... I mean, it's hard to tell, because I think that... Like, David Weiss is, like, an expert on these, you know... Yeah. Levels, you know, like DKR and, like, Dying Dong from Country and all that stuff. Yeah. Where I... it's, like, you know... That stuff. But I'm not sure if Grant Kirkhope could do that. Mm -hmm. But Grant, Grant Kirkhope, on the other hand, is really good at, you know, creating music for, like, atmospheres. So. Yeah. Um... I think David Wise actually did the music for Banjo Pilot, if I'm right, if I remember right. Oh, really? I actually did not know that. I think. I might be wrong in that, but I know it's not Grant Kirk Hope. I'd have to look that up, or maybe when we get to it later, look into it. Banjo Pilot's such a bad game. <laughs> It's, it's, what I would, mm, yeah. how do I say it? It's a good concept done not as well as it could have. Yeah. Because I always wanted a Banjo racing game that wasn't Diddy Kong Racing, so I could use some of the other characters from Banjo. So, in that aspect, I like it. Got nuts and bolts. <laughs> but you can only play as Banjo. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's 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 kind of what I'm saying. Like I can't play as mumbo jumbo or as grunty or stuff like that in nuts and bolts or, but I can in banjo pilot. I remember Wait, I don't. By like... the way, the composer is Robin Beanland. Robin Beanland, yes. Yeah, he did. He, he made the game. He made the music. He's done banjo he, pilot. He collaborated with. Uh, Kirkhope for Nuts and Bolts, actually. He's actually still at Rare, I believe. Yeah, he, he made the Sea of Thieves, it says. Yeah. So Josh probably knows him. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, uh... Connect Sports. Oh, so I, I never played the new Connect Sports, but I actually liked the first one that they had. Yeah. The, uh... <laughs> I actually have a video on my old YouTube channel that is of me, like, failing hardcore at Connect Sports. 
I was sitting in my living room and uh, fell down, actually. I am missing a coin. Which one did I miss? Oh, I see it. Have you got... Yeah, it's probably on the right side. Those ones behind the trees. I always forget them. <laughs> that was actually a close game. Ooh. So do you, uh, let's see, I was going to ask something and I forgot what it was. Oh wow. So with doing any percent, or you don't do a lot of any percent anymore, do you? Uh, no, not really. Like, I've had the world record there for a long time. Yeah. It hasn't really been contested for a while, so I haven't really played much. Gotcha. You've been, at least when I've watched you, have you, uh, I've seen you basically doing, uh, all trophy races. Yeah, mainly. We, we are gonna have a tournament of all trophy races starting next week, so. Oh, nice. If I know Grand Kirk, no, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Grand Kirk, I know who they are, but, I, I, like, I mean, it's not like I'm a famous person because I'm, you know, <laughs> the world record holder in the different race. Unfortunately, that's not how it works. It would have been cool. <laughs> the only, like, you know, person that I've met from these kind of things is that I've met Charles Martinet. Who's that? Oh, Charles Martinet. Uh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Sorry. Yep. That's, a, that's a guy I've, I've met. Well, yeah, I, I, don't, I, I mean, I obviously don't know him, but I've met him. Yeah, I've met Grant Kirkhope. He's a really cool guy. Oh, no. I lost. I'll, I I have to do that again. Ah. <laughs> Filthy casual. Oh, wait. I don't like these levels where you have to go, you have to... Have to do it. So I think my, my N64 just froze up. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, right? Um, <laughs> I'm not sure if it... It didn't overheat. Hmm. Nah, it could be if you touched it. Sometimes the cartridges are a little sensitive. That's the thing. I didn't. All right, let's. Uh... But the game saves after each balloon, so. Okay, that's good. Well, I'm glad that's a thing. <laughs> there it is. Let's try this again. Let's. <laughs> I was actually doing good that race too. <laughs> Uh It was a g g g g g g Yes, I'm Belina. Oh, not sure Diddy. Plays a good character. I'm Diddy. Oh, we were doing ban. 20. I'm at 20. Oh, it's time for the plane race. <laughs> okay. Challenge. I challenge you to a race. I... Have you played Diddy Kong Racing DS, Giz? A little bit. It's really um, bad. It is really bad. <laughs> For one, it doesn't have banjo on it, but... But, I mean, like, the gameplay is terrible. Yeah. Um, is it the, uh... Um, these challenges aren't the same. Like, they're, this, they're similar, but the map itself is different. Like, they added an extra area in Timber Island. And then the TT races are just, um, you racing TT with, in the cloud somewhere. You have to draw the stage and then yeah. race on it. <laughs> the, the freaking auto-scrollers instead yeah. of Silver Clock challenges so bad. Yeah. <sighs> Where are the barrels, maybe, dude? Where are the barrels? Yeah. 
And you have to actually, like, buy the silver coin challenges. <laughs> yep. Can you break game? Pretty much. <laughs> I'm good at that. I don't know why, because this is the second time that I've... S well, the one time was because I was doing an out-of-bounds trick on uh, Hot Top Volcano. Yeah. I'm not sure why... Oh, I think I broke it. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Apparently, if you flip and do a somersault when he teleports, he'll spawn behind you. <laughs> not, not a speedrunning strat at all, but nice to know. <laughs> yep. Uh, thanks for the clip, Jamtars. <laughs> Oh, the, uh, was it the crash? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, Snowball Valley. Take three. Hmm. I do find it amazing that I've had this in Nintendo 64 since 1997, and it's still running as well as it is. Yeah. It's actually funny. Like, I'm thinking about that too sometimes. Not only you know, like the load times are amazing and stuff like that, but it's like you know, sometimes my N64, like I forget to turn it off after yeah. I've been playing, and it just stands on. And then it's on for like three days. Oh I'm yeah. Like, oh yeah. I'm gonna play it again. Oh, it's been on for three days. Yeah. And like no noise or anything, and you just you know keep playing. There's nothing wrong. You just keep going. Yeah. <laughs> I did that with um. Well, Eight years old. My original X. Oh, no, actually, when I was younger. We would do that actually for my uh, if I was playing a game or something in um, a game that didn't save. Like I don't know what what's a good example of which game, but we'd leave it on, like, and then get right back to it. We had a Sonic Mega Collection for the Xbox, and they dang it, they had a. Uh, you could unlock cheats or like the manuals and stuff like that from leaving it on for a certain amount of time. We'd leave it on overnight and it would still... That was the original Xbox. Yeah. I don't know if you can do that with the uh, newer the consoles 360. or not. 360 or the Xbox One. I haven't tried it. Oh, right, this is the one where the coins are over on the other sides. Frosty Village. It's, this game came out, what, 97, 96, 98? This game came out in November uh, 97. 97. Yeah. I, oh wait, yeah, Banjo came out in 98, the first Banjo game. Yep, that's right. So, this came out before that. I do not like the uh, silver coins in Frosty Village, because they're all over. You can't do that all in one lap. Well, I mean, you could. Uh, you wanna, you wanna, like, we wanna try a fun glitch in this level later? Oh, what? There are glitches in this level? Yeah, I can show you. But then complete the coin challenge first. Yeah. <laughs> it's Adventure 2 where it's in that waterfall, right? Yeah, I think that's Adventure 2. Maybe. Mm, I'm not sure if there's one in the waterfall. It sounds a little too extreme. I don't think there, there is. Like, I don't think you have to drive through the water. I thought in maybe Adventure 2 there was. Maybe. I haven't done that in a while. There is a... There is a uh, Dude, I haven't done it in like a long time either. I just don't like it. How are second and first so close... Or so far ahead from everybody else? Going for the triple zipper. I don't even know. Yeah, I was trying and then... I'm just gonna re restart. It's fine. <laughs> Oh, 
Um, what does it say? Your brother and has Banjo Kazooie on 64. And didn't beat the game because it crashed every time you get a click clock wood. Yeah. Um, I was nervous about that too because the versions that I have. Last time I played, it, that's what it was. It was Rusty Bucket Bay playing on Banjo Kazooie and it just up and stopped. So that's why I was hoping to do the uh, banjo first on Xbox. Yeah, I'm super. If you can't tell, I am super hyped for uh, banjo coming out in Smash Brothers. So what is it's not like an out of bounds trick or anything like that for Frosty, is it? No, it's just like it's a trick that you use. In, there's like a fast lap time trial thing. Oh. So it's just like it's not something you use in like a speed run. Okay. But it's something you use for because you know in time trials you have both the three lap and the like fast lap. Yeah. And it's a it's a fast lap trick. So. Gotcha. Right. So yeah, when you, oh yeah, there's a boss after this one. Yes, Bluey Part Two. Bluey so Part Two. So try to get the cuts and skip now. Yes. Got it. Oh, don't return to lobby. Just restart. Okay. Oh, you, that's that's worked, dude. So we just restart because now. Oh, you tried the trick now. All right. So what now the coins will be gone. So what am I doing? So just drive through the entire track, okay. but don't go to the finish line. All right. Did I try speed running this at one point? I did, and it was bad because that was when I, um, what's the word? When when Hot Top Volcano crashed the game. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, it does. If you go for the wrong warp on this version, it uh, crashes the game. Yeah. So, okay. So when you go. Go to the like the last zipper, but don't hit it. Hit like don't hit it. Okay. You know we're about where there, I'm in, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm there. Let's see. Okay. okay. So what you do now? Drive through the uh, the tunnel back, like drive like not that tunnel, but just like the the waterfall tunnel. Oh, drive through it. Yeah. Drive through it and hold like to the left, you know, like on the left side. Yeah. Yeah. So just drive normally through left side. Oh, I think I'm going and backwards. And then just drive straight forward. Oh, right. you're going the right side. But yeah. <laughs> okay. Did I do it wrong? <laughs> yeah, just like, yeah, like you want to drive straight forward. You don't okay. want to turn around. Because now you're going back. Okay. You just want to just like hold to the left in the tunnel. Like in that thing. Okay. Gotcha. We'll go backwards for a little. Yeah. Yeah. So we've just already drive beat this. The... All right. So drive in the tunnel. No, not that one. Okay. So let's see here. Uh, do you want to do what you did before? Okay. Where you went normally to the to the, the last zipper. Uh huh. Yeah. Right, so you go there. normally to that zipper, yeah. Uh huh. And then you go through the water, like the water tunnel so, thing, so and turn... hold, like keep left inside the tunnel. Okay, the, so the water tunnel. left in this tunnel. Yeah, yeah, let's see if I can see. So just drive straight forward. So don't turn back or anything. Oh. Just gotcha. drive straight forward. Just straight forward. And okay, I gotcha. I think. Yeah, because I think you might have messed it up now because the. But... That's fine. What's in my... So, yeah. Yes, Cake, I was yeah. trying to do a glitch. Um, trying to see. So I'm not sure if it's triggered or what, or... No, like, you have to go way further back. Like, you're not close to being done. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, but it's not hard. You just need to, to go back and hold left and drive straight forward when you exit the tunnel. 
and then go left back in the, the forest, and you hold, and you go to the left, you know, where those three zippers are. Oh, so. okay. Wait. What's going on? <laughs> I'm not sure where we're going. I Apparently it doesn't know where I'm so, going either. Yeah, this way. Go left. Oh, where are you going? I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> so, you like, you want to go back into the forest, and you want to go on the left side, you know, where... Those the zippers three are, yeah. Zippers are, yeah. And you just drive backwards from them. Let's see. I noticed that it was going backwards, but the wrong way disappeared. Exactly, so... Alright. <laughs> but, I'm not sure, like, you've done so many weird things now, I'm not sure if it's going to work. <laughs> okay. So, hold left, so go left, you know. And then go into the tunnel. Into this front, this tunnel right here. Yeah, with the... yeah, the tunnel to the left. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, do you see it? Yeah, it just went okay, left too. Here we go. Yeah, so now I'm going just, the wrong way. Yeah, normal. Yeah, and normal. Right, normal. Yeah. No, <laughs> <just> the... <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. That's one of those things. Like, how did you find that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's pretty interesting. I broke it. I got a 24 second lap. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, as you can see, like, then you get, like, wrong ways and stuff when you drive normally. Yeah, I see that. Because you messed up with, you messed up the checkpoints a bit. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, it worked. So, but if you want to check, like, these kind of different... Uh, there are some that are easier than this one, but this one is kind of easy. You can try it again, probably. Yeah. I'm going the wrong way, I know. Okay. Four minute lap. Yeah, I had a four minute lap then a 20 second one. So it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's not actual time trial. Alright, so we're just going to go back to the lobby and fight the walrus now that now that we know we can yeah. do some of the stuff. Yeah. Also, oh. there's, a, there's a glitch in this level if you want to try it. Is it the one where, where you like fly through the out of bounds? Yeah. Okay, so I can show you how to do it. It's kind of it's not that difficult to do, but it requires a lot of timing. But I it's just, it's, not, it's not hard to do. It's not. All right. No. You, so you say just that. like, huh? You say that. <laughs> but it's like you just like look it to the left. Like don't drive after the the boss. Okay. So like just let him go. Okay. And go straight to the left. Straight and to the left. what you want to do. Yeah, I just want to show you where it is. Okay. So you see like that you can, there's like a small thing you can cut. It looks like you can jump up on it. Do you see that? Yeah. Yeah. So if you drive with with a lot of speed and you jump and bounce on the like invisible wall, you will uh -huh. be able to get up on like the, that slope. Ooh, I missed it. Yeah, I think it's easier to drive from this, from the side, like straight from the side. Oh, okay, gotcha. Because driving straight ahead is going to be hard to, because then you drive straight into the wall. You want to bounce on like the invisible wall on the side. Alright, we'll try and do it before Bluey wins the yeah, match. More, yeah, or you could just restart. <laughs> going to do that. So like right at the seam basically, or? Like, no, it's like to the left. Because you want to bounce on the left wall, and you want to like bounce. Oh, right. I see what you do. I see it now. I understand. Yeah, that was that was good. That was good. <laughs> that was exactly what you were supposed to do. Yeah. So that's what you want to do, and you just want to bounce up on the on the side, okay. Okay. like on that edge. Is this gonna crash yeah, my that's... game? No, no, no. It's okay. not gonna crash your game. Don't worry. Okay. About that. But yeah, that's exactly the idea. You okay. got like the, you got the idea. So is this like in uh, Sonic Adventure where you have to like blindly uh, navigate through the out of bounds to get to the oh, end? You you can't finish the race of this way, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, you will you will like fall in like a <laughs> yeah it'll, it'll look cool. It'll look but... cool. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. If I can get it. 
Yeah, but I think I think you'll get it soon. This is uh, like that jump you did before, but it was like you know when you said, "Oh, I see what you mean." That yeah. one would have worked if it was closer to the wall. Yeah, that was that one was also good. It's just that you need to go further to the right. Yeah. Like the the height is good. That's fine. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. If only I could uh, navigate, or oh, it won't let me. Yeah, your speed is a little low there. Yeah. But but like you're getting the you're getting like the idea. It's at a little bit of an angle. I fell backwards that time. <laughs> yep. Yep. But you don't have to restart every time. You can just drive backwards. That's true. And try That's it. true. Alright, let's do this. We're gonna get it, and then we're gonna yeah. actually beat him for real. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because beating him for real, I think it's it's not gonna be an issue for you. This is just gonna be. Yeah, okay. you, you will like this SPO. I promise. <laughs> Okay, we got a, like one more try before I have to restart, I think. Yeah. Because if he wins, then it shoots me back to the lobby. Yeah, exactly. We don't want that. No, we don't. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, your timing is a little, your timing is a little off, and your angle is a little off. But I think like you still you you know what. I have an idea of how it works. I almost had it that time. Yeah, that was close. I mean, if you want to treat it, you can try like snaking and stuff, you know, if you want to go faster. But... Yes, okay. It's been a while. Stream watches, streamer run into a wall for two hours. <laughs> I know. <laughs> But yeah, this is the kind of stuff, like, I mean, if you want to practice and become... I mean, this is not a glitch that you not do. Not this one, yeah. Us, but... I have been able Ooh, to do... Oh, that height was good. I saw that, yeah. I've done the uh, Hot Top Volcano Out of Bounds before, and I've... I think I understand the tricky skip that I might be able to do that one now. Yeah, it's, it's not that hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, so, the thing here is that... Like, yeah. when you get up there, you're not going to be able to go out of bounds immediately. So, like, after yeah, you get up, right. gotcha, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna, it's not, it's extremely easy to to navigate there, but, like, I just have to show you where it is. Okay. Because the game has, like, put in some invisible walls there. Oh, okay. But, like, it seems insanely easy to drive around them. It's just that, yeah. Ah! Get this. <laughs> Start to jump too early that time. It's fine. One more time. I don't know. <laughs> the stream is excited. Oh yeah, They're... I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, no one knows what knows what's going on. Yeah, no one except for I think you, and I yeah. think I. <laughs> I don't know if I've seen people do this before, or if... I don't know. I'm like, I feel like I've seen this before, but I've never done it. Ah! Yeah. Almost had that one. Yeah. Like, that one is getting the correct height. Now I just have to, write, have to get so the right angle. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, these physics are weird. <laughs> yep. Trying to cut that corner. Uh, what would you actually try to do here is that you try to um, jump on top. Yeah, exactly. You like you try to jump and land on top of that thing. So you're actually on like the uh, the edge there. That's what yeah. you want to do. You need to re We're having reset. some we're having some fun here. Yeah. So he's trying to land on top of that, so you can drive like on top of uh, yeah that side. The, I will get eventually. <laughs> or I'll just get irritated and give up. I'm not sure which one at this point. 
Alright. Because you have to jump, hit the invisible wall, and then bounce onto the lip there. Yep. I understand it in theory. It's the execution that I'm having trouble with. Yep. Are you holding R when you press straight forward? No. Do I need to? No. Like, that slows you down. Okay. I, like, tap it when I jump, and that's about it. Yeah. Okay. <gasps> okay. Oof, that was... That was close. <laughs> that was oh, close. We're gonna get it! <laughs> what do you think, cake for cake here? <laughs> this could have been... This could have been much worse, though. I spent... Oh, I almost had that! Um, I was Ooh, doing the yeah. can Canary Mary race yesterday. Can I do it on the other hill? You can't. Okay. That's a good question. That's a good question. Alright. thought I was You are getting closer. I you know. are getting closer. I know. And that's why I haven't given up yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Is it only during the uh mini games that you can back up and do all that that we were yep. talking about? Okay. It's mini game only. Uh -huh. It's probably a little easier to do with TP. Yeah. But that would make that would be weird for the Road to Smash Banjo Marathon. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's definitely possible with the uh, banjo. That's mm -hmm. not the. But banjo is probably the m other than TT the heaviest character, isn't he? Crunch. Crunch, right? He does a drumstick. <laughs> okay, so he's mid mid range then. Yeah, he's like. Like he's he like Banjo is heavyweight, uh huh. I think, or uh, something. I'm not sure exactly what they call it. I'm gonna go check. Let's see. But he's like, he, I don't know, because I think like Timber Conquer those are they are like medium weight. Okay. And tipped up and Pipsy are like light, but crunch like crunch and. Drumstick are like really heavy, they're like super heavy or something. Gotcha. <laughs> I like that you're not giving up. Yeah. This is the uh, this is mindset you need to have if you want to become a speedrunner. This one Just, is? You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you want to become a speedrunner, this is it. This, is, this right be, here? Yeah, you need, you need to... Like, be super stubborn. Yeah. Super stubborn, I have my moments. And I think this is one of them. <laughs> yep. <sighs> I just know that you will have a lot of fun if you actually make it up there. I'm excited for it. <laughs> the hype has me. And I almost had it that time. And I think the, I think the thing that's getting me is that I'm getting so dang close. Yeah. That if I don't get it, I'm just disappointed in myself. Yeah, I feel you. There are two times right there that I got the uh, height, but I didn't get the uh, angle. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Ah. Yeah, you should have seen me with Dude, the. F I know, right? That was so close. You just bonked a little too early. Like if you were slightly more to the left there, that would have worked. Mm -hmm. You should have seen me the first time I tried to do the out of bounds for Hot Top Volcano. Yeah. 
it's an easiest trick once you know, know how to do it but when you're learning it it's not as easy <laughs> no like if you if you get the correct guidelines it's not that easy it's not that hard yeah but it's like if you try to figure it out all on your own it can be really tough yeah. well i think i did it just after watching you do it or watching um oh who is that who's the other speedrunner i watched diddy kong i uh, know <laughs> there's a lot of them I don't remember who it was I was uh, watching. I mean, Joe, maybe? Joe, or Obayo, or... Um, by Obayo? Yeah. Yeah. Might be him. He's a world record holder for 100%. Okay. Do you currently from hold Quebec, it? From you... Quebec. Gotcha. Do you currently own any of the world records for DKR? Yeah, I have the other two category. The other two, okay. World records. I have a uh, 80% world record and ultra freezes world record. Okay. <gasps> I you get touched up? the lip. <laughs> I almost had oh, it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Dude, that was. Ah. <laughs> wow. I thought you made it there. I thought I did too. And then I slid off. No. Oh, oh, damn. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> up. And over. No. Okay. I like the not giving up attitude. Thanks, SPO. I appreciate it. <laughs> Except the can't give up. Never give up, never surrender, right? Except. Alright. What's gonna be funny is, um, I get this, and I'm pretty sure what's gonna happen is I'm gonna void out. And then it's gonna send me back to the start line. <laughs> I mean, yes, but that's uh, that's not. But the that fact happens. that I'm actually gonna be able to do it, that's what's getting me to go. Yeah. Exactly. Uh... Unless you've been doing it for two hours, I don't... we haven't done two hours yet. been streaming for about two hours. No, I've only been streaming for about an hour and a half. Wow. Time flies when you're having fun. <sighs> Every time I jump up and get that, like, height, I, like, stop breathing for a second. <laughs> One more, and then we have to reset. <laughs> you could try with TT. Just, you know, try the trick. Yeah, that's true. Um, we're gonna do it. Just because. Pull out TT for a little bit. Come back to Banjo when we're done with this. Because exactly. now, now I'm determined. Yeah, you just gotta get the trick. That's it. And then, not complete anything with TT. Just... Yeah. Complete the trap, the trick, and that's about it. Yep. All right. And this isn't one that they fixed in uh, this version, right? What do you mean? The what? Well, I guess you, you did you did say the only the only patch that you remember was the uh, spaceport Space alpha. alpha. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can do this trick in all the versions. Okay, cool. First, almost try. <sighs> yeah, it was easier with TT. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's faster. Yes, a lot faster. Now that I'm actually playing as him, I'm like, oh, I forgot how fast he was. Yeah. Sort of like bottles in Banjo Pilot. Have you have you played Banjo Pilot? I don't remember. I haven't. Haven't. Okay. It's I a just game. Know, I, I've seen game game play of the game. Yeah. Like, yeah, I know. SP. But, That's yeah. not Banjo, but this is just for uh, experimentation purposes. We'll be back to Banjo in a couple seconds. And, I, and by a couple seconds, I mean however long it takes to finish this. Okay. 
Close. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. <laughs> and almost. Okay. More. Fortunately, um, TT's voice clips aren't annoying like Pipsy's or anything like that, so I can yeah. handle it. Ow. Yeah. Ew. I know Pipsy's your favorite character, right, Giz? She's the worst. <laughs> I'll just, just... Yes. yes. <laughs> Is that one of yours? Yeah, no, it's uh... <gasps> I almost made that one! Oh. Dude, you would have made if you if you kept jumping, you would have keep jumping. Okay, not noted. Got it. Yeah. If you land on the lip, you should try jumping. All right. If I land on the lip, I should try jumping. I mean, it doesn't work all the time. Got it. Got it. You okay. got up. Yes, okay, I got up. So. Okay, so stand up there. All right. Oh, pause. Oh, pause. Yes. Because I mean, he's gonna he's about to win. Are you serious? So, oh yeah, you're right. He's getting up there. So what, so do what I do you now? want to do now? Like what you do now is that you drive to the right. Cause so like don't pause. I'll pause yet. I'm gonna. Cause you know he's about to win. Yeah. So. Oh, you, I, I found it. <laughs> yeah. So you just drive and drive straight forward. Yep. You just, right, just drive re straight forward. We're gonna restart, and I'm gonna do that the first time. Okay. Okay. Hopefully you didn't shoot yourself in the foot now. <laughs> Alright, second time. Hey Falco, how are we doing? Falco? Falco Flyer. Guessing it's a Star Fox. It actually Wait. was a... It's a funny story. Falco actually had not played Star Fox until I had him play Star Fox 64 on Virtual Console like a month or so ago. But he liked it from melee, so that's kind of yeah. what. <laughs> All right, I shot myself in the foot. It's fine. The pain will go <laughs> the away soon. Uh, the guy with the amazing down air. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So. Yeah. Just you can just drive straight forward. Woo. And you, you can drive. And I up fell here. down. I fell off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oops. We. <laughs> <laughs> Go, let's go. This is not the wrong way, or is it? <laughs> oh, there we go. Now we're back to. It. But I did it. You did. It. Ah, Bundy speed run. <laughs> not quite. Good job, man. But there's All a right. cool thing you can do if you want to try a thing that you can do with that out of bounds. Really? Yeah. So if you do that out of bounds uh -huh. and. Um, like, you know the tunnel, you know, what, like, that you're, yeah. you're supposed to enter? Yeah. If you drive and you jump, so you land, so you kind of land underneath the tunnel. Uh-huh. Like, well, you don't want to land inside, but, like, you just want to be underneath, underneath the it, tunnel. Yeah. Um, out of bounds. Then there's a darkness filter that will be turned on. Because, you know, it's like, when you get into the tunnel, yeah. it gets dark. Uh-huh. So there's a darkness filter. And when you void out, the darkness filter is still going to be on. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, you got it. Nice. Cool. So, just like drive there and just try to jump and be underneath. I'm oh, wow. under. I didn't make it. <laughs> That's no. Fine. Well, yeah, you were too late. Like you got to do it in the beginning because it starts like that filter is turned on in the beginning. Gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. But 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 still, like I mean, you, you're getting it way more consistently now, so this is getting better. Yeah. It's gonna be less. You're starting to understand it. Yeah. Start to understand the trick. I got it first try that time. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, dude. So just try to, you know, plan on, and you will see the background turning dark. Ah, uh, I did for a second, and then it disappeared. Yeah, the oh no, uh, it's because you drove backwards. I jumped backwards. Gotcha. Dude, it's right. yeah, it's because you drove backwards. You actually got it, and then you yeah, because you, you you need to you know keep dragging forward. I'll stay still. You can just stay still. Gotcha. All right. I, have pre yeah, I, I love that I can actually get that the first try now. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, that's only it's not that difficult. Just you need to, you know, you need to understand it, you know. There it is. 
Okay, so just fall down now. All right. Cool, right? Now yeah, everything's dark. Really cool. And well, now when you void out, it will still be dark. So you will drive around, and the darkness filters. Oh jeez! This is it cool. That is awesome, actually. Yeah. <laughs> It's creepy, and... Yeah, I wonder why they didn't use this filter more, because it's really cool. It is. Alright, so, now that we got that figured out, we got to play yeah, with it, I'm no, gonna go... Yeah, it's Banjo time. Back to Banjo. Banjo time. <laughs> Back to Banjo time, yeah. But thanks for that. Yeah, cool, right? Yeah. And the, the fact that I was able to do it makes me feel better. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Always it's good to feel good. Oh, for sure. Right? I had to pull my headphones off for a second, so... There we go. Back on. So I was like... I found this at Kmart, this backpack. Does it not look like um, Banjo's backpack at all? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, that's what I use now for like all of my stuff. <laughs> and I used it for my Banjo cosplay when I had that, whenever it was. All right, now time to actually beat Bluey. Yep. Good start. Dude, that's the worst in a speedrun. The bonk, <laughs> the bonk. that wall. Yeah. It's like you need to drive around. Yeah. Uh, all right. Are you cosplaying Banjo again for Halloween? I've considered it. I mean, Banjo's supposed to be coming out in Smash in the Fall, so that would make sense. Yeah, I wouldn't say this is my least favorite boss, but it's not my favorite. <laughs> this is my least favorite. Yeah. Like my... this one, this boss with TT is like too easy. Yeah. <laughs> like, I've, I've beaten this boss uh, by holding A <laughs> and using the joystick twice. Gotcha. Probably <laughs> at each major it. turn. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, because... Uh, when you get out of the like dark tunnel, uh huh, uh, and like you drive straight forward, there's like a bit massive left turn. Yeah. So using it there um, is something you need to do because otherwise you'll just slide on the ice. Mm -hmm. And like you need to, like you kind of want to use it in the last tunnel too, to the right, because gotcha. otherwise you will like break and drive straight into the wall, and it's gonna be really slow. Yeah. But yeah, it's like if you, you if you just hold A and use the joystick twice, you win with TT. TT is super fast, like stupid fast. I just the difference between what Banjo is, what I was just playing as, and then when I switched to TT to do the uh, glitch, it was ridiculous. <laughs> yep. All right, That's time it. for the trophy challenge. Now it's time for the trophy challenge. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Bye, kid! <laughs> uh, this game. Well done! Now I'll try the trophy challenge. Bye, kid! <laughs> I'm not a, I don't know, how old is Banjo supposed to be? I don't think he's a kid. I've always clocked him as a <laughs> I mean, all, all, all of them say That's stuff true. like that. Though. That's true. I mean, he, he kind of is a kid, right? That's true. Not like a kid, but like a teen or something. Cause yeah. I mean, remember the difference in his voice from Kazooie to Tooie? Right, yeah, he did get lower. Like, yeah, just to get lower because he gets older. Puberty. And he's even younger in this one, so he's probably a teenager. Fair. Huh. Cosplay? I've never cosplayed, I don't think. Bored, it takes a lot of imagination and a lot of frugality. <laughs> like, I made a Captain Falcon costume a long time ago, and all I did was um, get a jump. Falcon punch. Well, I got a jumpsuit from par <laughs> par from Party City, and I got a bunch of chicken wire and duct tape and made a. Me and Obi and um, Eric, another one of our friends, sat and basically they formed the uh, um, helmet over my face, over my head, and then we covered it in duct tape, and so that's literally the mask. <laughs> Or the helmet. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. And I could... Falcon Punch! Yeah. It was fun. I, um... 
It was actually based, there's a, uh, they call it a gritty reboot, um, web series called There Will Be Brawl, and it was, uh, there was one of the guys who was going to be at the con was dressed, or was, pl played Captain Falcon in that web series, and he was a social media manager, so what I did, <laughs> I came up and, um, in costume, went and came up to talk to him, oh my gosh, you should have seen his reaction, because he knew that I was cosplaying the version of Captain Falcon that was him, actually. Yeah. I have a, I have cool. a stand up of my cosplay, which is kind of cool. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Falcon punch. Falcon punch. Falcon kick. It's so funny that he actually wasn't a fully developed character until Smash Brothers. That cracks me up. Like, in, he, he's in F-Zero, but F-Zero is, you know, first and foremost racing game. There's no story other than drive fast. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty fun. Yeah. And I mean, he was he was one of the original ones. Which oh, yeah. Well, he was one of the first unlockables. Yeah. Him and Ness and Jigglypuff. But that I think was... it's crazy, though, that like he was in the first Smash game. Yeah. The... <laughs> There are people mod modding the 64 now and like making Ganondorf using, you know, Captain Falcon's skin and making a custom Ganondorf skin. Yeah. Ganon punch. Yeah. I think that. I think it's interesting though that Banjo it took Banjo so long to get in. Yeah, I've been wanting Banjo in Smash Brothers since the first one. I wonder why it wasn't in the first one. Um, yeah, who knows. Maybe not enough room. They could get people like Ness, you know, but... Yeah, from Earthbound? Like, hmm. Who knows Earthbound? <laughs> yeah, that's a to, good question. To be fair... people know Earthbound through Ness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, I didn't know... I didn't actually play Earthbound until about, like, four or five years ago. I still haven't yeah. finished it. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't finished it either. I played the big. I don't like the fighting system in that game. Yeah. Uh, I have. I struggled with it. I don't. I don't like, enjoy it at all. Oh, wait, I'm playing trophy race. <laughs> yeah. I went for the cutscene skip. skip and. It <laughs> <laughs> I need to make some dinner soon. I'm not sure what I want to do. Oh yeah, I forget you're uh, in Sweden, right? Yep. A little bit farther ahead than I am. Sweden. Yeah. Sverige. Okay. <laughs> As it's called in Swedish. Yeah. That reminds me. Duo is mad at me because I haven't been doing Duolingo at all. Duolingo? Yeah. What, like, which language do you want to learn? Well, I have I have Spanish because I, you know, learned that in high school. Um, yeah, do you know Spanish? Like, I, or is it just, like, high, high school... Spanish? I know enough to be dangerous. <laughs> to be dangerous? Yes. So I can understand, but I could probably say something that would probably embarrass somebody. <laughs> <laughs> what part of Sweden? Um, um, West Coast? Spain? Oh, not Swedish. Er, Spanish. But, um... Yeah, Gothenburg. That's... I live... I don't live in Gothenburg, but I work in Gothenburg. Okay. Oh, what part? Oh, you're asking Sweden. Or Falco. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I actually work in Gothenburg, so I live in a go. city nor north, north of Gothenburg. So, oh yeah, I've been working in Gothenburg for five years. So yeah, that's cool. I'm going there next week because uh, a friend of mine is gonna uh, lend me a bunch of Switch games. Oh, there you go. <laughs> So I'm gonna, it's like he has like a lot of RPG games for the Switch and for uh, the PS3, this... and uh, like I really want to play some RPGs. So there you go. he's gonna lend me he's gonna lend me like six or seven of them. <laughs> so I'm just gonna have a week, local weeks of just playing RPGs because you know I work yeah. as a high school teacher, so my summer is completely off, so I don't really have anything to do. So yeah. yeah. Adges, I don't know if he's in here. He's actually a high school teacher as well. I think high school or elementary, I don't remember. He's a, We have a couple school teachers who watch, like, in their planning periods or whatnot. Yeah. 
Although, what time? It's like, it's a little after, it's almost 1 o'clock here, it's probably what, 7-ish over yeah, there? Yeah, it's almost 7. Almost 7, yeah. Let's see, we recorded a Gregorian chat, that's cool. Where were you? Like, do you remember the names of the places you were, Falco? I'm gonna go to Google and see where, where it's at. Oops, got free Edric's shirt, yeah. Run check. Let's see here. Alright. Snowflake Mountain is done. <laughs> nice. Yes. We've got. Okay, I kinda. See where it is. Yeah, I'm not really like in that area. I'm general like I'm generally not in that area, but it's not. It's actually really close to um, where my sister works. Alright, so now we're at... Yeah, it's, like, it's probably like a five minute walk from where my sister works. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> the church. Well, it's a little further away from where I am uh, when I work, but... It's not that far. But it's like, I mean, it's, it's not like walking distance, but, but it's still... Yeah, pretty close to Yan yeah, Toriyats. Yeah, I've, sure act this English, but... I've never been out of uh, the U.S., so that would be a bucket list thing for me at some point. <laughs> yeah, Sweden. Sweden, Spain, and um, England. Specifically the place where Rare is at. I want to visit the Rare building. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For old times' I, sake. I've been to all of those three. Have you? I mean, I live in Sweden, you know, yeah. since I am, for, I am Swedish, but... Yeah. I, uh... I've been to Spain one, once, yeah. I've been to Spain once in the southern, in Malaga. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Familiar. yeah. And uh, I've been to London as well. As well. Okay. Yeah, well, I was actually in London two months ago. Oh, nice. The, uh, um, when we were in high school, our Spanish class, we would actually have pen pals from, like, Spain. And then one of, a couple of them actually came and visited at one point, and I just thought it was so cool. I don't know yeah. why my my lighting is so off right now, and I don't know why. I'm like super blue. But what is, uh, did you remember where your pen pal was from? I want to say Madrid, but I'm not 100% on that. Okay. The capital. Yeah. We had a, it was like a, almost like a sister school, kind of, where they would, the uh, Spanish teacher was from there. Yeah. Or like visited there often. She wasn't from there. Madrid. I've never been to Madrid, though. Yeah. I'm not sure if I want to go to Madrid, because it's like, you know, a big city. Yeah. I'd rather go to, you know, other places. Yeah. Especially, you know, if you're in Spain, you kind of want to be close to the ocean, I feel. Makes sense. I do live in a harbor town, though, so. Dang it. I don't know how you can clear this shortcut every time because I feel like I bonk every time I try and hit it. Press yeah, island. Oh, it requires right. a practice. I'm just gonna come and get the uh, key later. Yeah. The speedruns we do, we grab it in the race. As a car? Yeah. It's faster than resetting, just restarting. So we just drive out and get it. I guess that makes sense. So that's cool, Falco. Yeah. 
Sweden. It's not that it's kind of rare for people to have been to Sweden if they are from the, like the U.S. Said so I have a friend. I'm not. Sure, I can't remember if he's from Sweden or the Netherlands because they are different. <laughs> they are very different. Yeah. <laughs> Sweden and the Netherlands are really, really different. Yes, and I know that, I just can't remember which one he said he was from. <laughs> Netherlands. I've been there a few times. Actually, I can look this up. Where is my phone? I'm friends with him on Facebook, I can find that out. <laughs> Netherlands. Sweden has coasts. Yeah, two of them. Where is my phone down? Yeah. No, there's a, there's a there's like an entire ocean in between um, Sweden, Sweden's east coast and Finland. Pirate Lagoon. Called Östersjön. Oh well, oceans may be an exaggeration, but it's like a sea, at least. It's pretty big. And Norway and Sweden are connected. The entire way until the, like the last third, and I live underneath that, so I live up on the west coast. Gotcha. So technically, it's like the Atlantic that reaches the, my city. Yeah. But it's a, uh, it's not called the Atlantic, since it's like you know closer. Yeah, I live in the middle of a farm area <laughs> in the middle of Ohio, so. Isn't Ohio like 95% farms? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, the, the ocean would be a nice change of pace. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is like a big harbor. I, I live... It takes me like about 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, like 15 minutes to walk to the uh, to the harbor from where I live. So. Mm -hmm. But you're not really allowed to walk to the harbor. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But... Chicago. I've only been to the Chicago. That's it. What is it called? O'Hare? O'Hare? Yeah. O'Hare Airport. Yeah. Uh, that's. I've been there. When I went to Minnesota. Okay. Because I've been to the U.S. five times. So. Okay. All right. Oh wait, I needed to go back to the. Uh... Crescent Island, I didn't do that yet. Get the, Get the key, the yeah. Key. Oh. I thought you could choose hover, but apparently you can't. I have to do it as a car. <laughs> Dang, is Chicago that bad? Yeah, I've been, I've been to, I haven't been to that many places in the U.S. though, because, you know, I've been going to games so quick every time yeah. I've gone to the U.S. But, I mean, I have been to, like, uh, I mean, SGQ was in, is in Minneapolis, mm -hmm. so I was in Minneapolis, but I stayed there for, like, three weeks. So I've been to, I've been to Wisconsin and Minnesota. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, both those, and I've been to, like, you know, all the other, like the, I've been to AGDQ four times, and all of them were, like, in the DC area, so I've, I've been to DC before, but okay. I've been to, like, the first three ones I went to were in Herndon, Virginia, so okay. I've been to Virginia, but two of those trips, uh, I went to, let's see, I went to New York once, so I've been to New York and uh, New Jersey and stuff like that, uh, and like Long Island and you know that stuff. And I've been to like one well, another time I was like around in Maryland. Okay. And this last time it was in Maryland in Rockville, mm. close to Bethesda. So like we were in. So we're really close to the building where they create all those games. You know, Bethesda. All those games? You mean Skyrim? <laughs> yeah. For every exactly. single console known to man. Uh, so my, yeah, yeah. My dad really likes Skyrim. Yeah. 
I'm not a big fan of it, but yeah, I'm either. I, 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 I see why people can like it, but I don't. I'm not like you know, one of those. I'm not one of those open uh, world guys. Yeah. Now for B bubbler, bubbler. Yeah. Didn't sound right when I was saying it. Wonder how this game compares to Crash Team Racing? I don't know, Giz, you played both. How does this game compare? <laughs> oh yeah. Depends. Uh, Crash does have an adventure mode too, doesn't uh, it? Yes, it does. I do... I haven't played Crash Team Racing original. I have, but I have played the, uh, the new one. Okay. And I mean, of course I'm kind of biased, uh, but like this game is the best racing game of all time, but no questions asked. But the Crash game, like the Nitro Field one, is actually really fun, it's really good. I need to learn it a little better, so yeah. I'm not that good at it yet, but uh, I have almost beaten all the uh, staff goals, but not the difficult ones, just a few of them. I feel like my controller is drifting a little bit. It is drifting. Okay, give me a second. You can, you can fix that easily. I yeah, can tell you. the LR and start, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you know it. <laughs> um, in Pokemon Stadium 2, I should have restarted race, not go to lobby. Um, in Pokemon Stadium 2, they actually had that in the um, when you were preparing. If you wanted to, you could press L and R and um, use the Diglett to reset or whatever. Sorry, I was checking my Snapchat. I was wondering what that was. <laughs> <laughs> it almost sounded like you know you you've heard one two oatmeal, right? Uh, no, I don't think so. No. It's a. Uh, I, should, I should I should listen to it. Uh, I mean, okay, I am like drifting hard, and this is that is weird. All right, fix, please. There we go. Now I can turn left. It's really bad if you can't turn left in this map. That was so weird. And this is like a fresh controller, like not one of my originals. What this the control stick's still still nice and tight. That's what she said. <laughs> oh gosh. Do you like the office by the way? Yes I do. <laughs> it's so good. It's my favorite show. Mm -hmm. So it's so good. <laughs> We were just talking, I think it was, was it the office that we were just talking about at, um, oh gosh, I don't remember what the context was. We were just talking about, well, because they're taking it off of Netflix, that's why. Oh. I don't know what that is supposed to be, Board. No, he says, it's a monk ass. You know the monk ass emote? Yeah, I know that one, I was trying to yeah, with the but, TOS but he was like you know the terms of uh, service or whatever. Right, right. You know, like uh, like if you, you know, if you like show yeah. like nudity or something yeah. on stream. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, that's more what I was wondering more. <laughs> okay, yeah. I don't I, have. Is it on the BTTV? Probably. That, that could be. I I'm... Have, yeah, I don't have that BTTV, so I can see. Those. Although it looks like I'm supposed to have it on the. I'm using OBS Live, which is. Streamlabs, or which is OBS, but with oh, yeah. stream element stuff. It's supposed oh, yeah, to have yeah. it, so I don't know why it's not showing up. It shows on your... Wait. No, on the side. Gotcha. Oh, wait. We've been doing the uh, mini game to cut up the silver coin challenges for my sure. sanity. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because we do keep this kind of, we keep it a family-friendly stream. Because, as I said, I have a friend who's a teacher who watches during school time. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> and I'm also a teacher, but I, <laughs> yes. I do this stuff anyways. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't think I don't think that's too, I don't think what we said was you know, yeah over the line though. It's yeah, it's it's different for different people. I, yeah. Don't you dare, Diddy Kong. You know it's a PG. Ah, oh, no, you didn't, Crunch. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, my stream is usually one lot worse. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> but I, yeah, I wouldn't say that my stream is terrible because like, uh, it's not like you know I say like you know super graphic stuff or anything. But it's just like my language is a lot, yeah, less clean. But I think it's it's, it's interesting. I think it's Swedish. We swear a lot more than in English usually. Really? It's like more. Yeah, it's like more. I wouldn't say this more like you know generally accepted, accepted, but I think it's we have more words that are swear words, but they are like kind of lighter or like they are gotcha. as yeah they aren't like as bad, so you can just like cut them in. It's like instead of saying like, you can say like a word that's a swear word instead. Gotcha. Interesting. You know stuff like that, so you can uh, so you can swear a lot in Swedish. You can it can be very very fluent. The same swear words in English is usually not as fluent, so. Yeah. Alright. The controller's freaking out, and I don't know why, and kind of bugs me a little bit. Had to reset it a couple coming. times already. That's weird. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, this music definitely gets you into the um, competitive element. Right. Crunch is dead. Now just to left. Pipsy's left. She's the last one. And she gone. Ugh. Next one. Alright, we have three pieces of the TT amulet. But yeah, no. Definitely, if you haven't, let me put it back in the chat again. Definitely check Giz out. It's pretty amazing. Really talented. Knows Diddy Kong Racing really well. Yeah, I know this. I know this game more than people should probably. <laughs> As I said, you were the first person I thought of when I was gonna start playing Diddy Kong Racing. I was, actually... I was gonna ask you earlier and I kept forgetting. And I was like, oh, hey, by the way, I never did. <laughs> Luckily, you were available. Yeah. For a little bit at least. Yeah. Like, I need to go in a little bit. But... Yeah. And yeah, whenever you. Don't. Don't let me keep you. But it's definitely been appreciated. Oh, there's the other one. I find it interesting now that I've unlocked TT, he's in the adventure mode as a competitor. I forgot that that's a thing that happens. Oh, goodness. Yeah, it's funny, my sister, she played this game a lot. Probably, I don't know if she more than me, but she loved the um, Smokey, the dragon, a lot more. Excellent. Exactly. Yes, we have a <laughs> now try the trophy challenge. Pretty much. <laughs> Just breathing out. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a dragon. It makes sense. <laughs> yeah. All right. So. Crescent Island is another one that you can't do it all in one lap. <laughs> Except, we don't do it. Um... I guess for you, for a hundred percent, you do do all of the maps, right? Like all the levels. Uh, yeah. 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 Or well, it depends on what you mean <laughs> by all the levels. 
I mean, you don't do. I mean, you do all the levels, but you don't do all the levels all, every time. What because, do you mean? You know the the trophy storage means you skip right. some of the trophies. Right. So you don't do like old Canyon in the tro trophy race. That's some that's something you do. Right. Pretty much Dino Domain, right? Yeah. But you do uh, like all the levels and the silver coins. Gotcha. So. Okay. Oh wait, I remember now. It's up in the locked area. There's the last one. Dang it. Got caught in the corner. Did it call racing? Yeah, no, this is probably my favorite racing game of all time. Which was the last gen of Pokemon I played? I've played, um, Sun and Moon. I did play, I did get that one. Not bad, not bad. I haven't done any of the new, like, the Let's Go games or anything like that. The newest one I played was Pokemon Black. Blackwoods. I actually didn't play the first Black or White. I played. I got Black and White Two. That's what. That was the one I had, which was interesting because I didn't play the first one. So there were a couple things I think I missed out on. <laughs> Probably. But yeah, Gen Two is the best generation. <laughs> I am a bigger fan of Gen 1, just in the fact of the nostalgia- Hey! No! Oh, Banjo. I am planning on getting Sword and Shield, though. Now that I got a Switch you... and everything. Yeah. I haven't- I think it's interesting that I'm reading that they're gonna have version-specific gems as well as Pokémon. I don't know if you read that. That's, 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 that's pretty cool. I know. I'm not sure how to feel about it, though. <laughs> Just because like you miss out on content if yeah. you... Yeah. Only get one? And I usually only buy one or the other. Let's see. I haven't played... Um, Sapphire in those games. But... Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire? Yeah, I haven't played them. They're alright. Um, I did play those as well. That coin. Uh, I think hard gold is really like hard gold and soul silver are really good. Were those the DS like, ones or were those 3DS? I don't remember. Um, DS, yeah, DS. Yeah. Okay, yeah. All right, don't forget that last coin, Bundy. <laughs> I'm not sure if Gen Five. I think. I still think that Gen 3 is peak, but even though, you know, Gen 2 is my favorite, I think that Gen 3 is a peak because, well, it's hard to tell, because I think the, like, special and physical thing being divided up is a good idea, I uh -huh. guess. So it's not, you know, type specific, like, type-based instead of what it is now, like, you know, physical. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know. Gen 2 is just like, that's where, that's where my heart is. I understand that. However, the thing that I don't like about Gen 2 is that Kanto is like, feels like it was made in a week. I'm pretty sure it was. <laughs> yeah, because I feel like the Johto region is super good and is really fun. It's like, it's really mm -hmm. epic. Kanto's pretty much empty. <laughs> yeah, Kanto is, ugh, it's bad. You got the gems and that's about it. <laughs> Yeah, I think if they actually spend time on Kanto, yeah, I think if that, I did, think that it would be hard to beat uh, Gen Two, did, like in all aspects, basically. Did they fix Kanto and Heart Gold, Gold and Soul Silver? Mm, I don't remember. I think they added some stuff, but more spent like the more importantly, they like added the uh, the fag like the battle factory and stuff. Which okay, is really yeah. Cool. No, Diddy, I know this is your game and all, but... Uh. It's technically Timber's game, but yeah. Well, his name's on it. <laughs> yeah. 
But I mean, Timber's Island, come on. Yeah. Hey, I got the cutscene skip you that got time. The, yeah, I saw it. <laughs> cutscene skip, saving six seconds. Yeah. Important six seconds. I'll have to... I was looking into getting a Japanese copy of Diddy Kong Racing. Yeah. But it was too expensive for you? Um, $6, I don't know $6. if it... <laughs> I don't think it was expensive, but at the time I was gonna have to go pick it up where I was gonna look and get it from, where I could get it cheapish. And I didn't want to drive down to wherever I was going to get it. Okay, because, I mean, you could just order it on eBay. It's That's like true. six bucks. It's like six bucks. Like, it's so cheap. Yeah. Like, including shipping, it's like six dollars. Yeah. I've been looking now to try and see if I can find Mario Party 3 for the 64. That was good. It's a good one. I, I, there's a, uh, you know what? I didn't look, actually, to see if... There's a couple retro game stores around where I live. I didn't look to see if they had, a Diddy Kong Racing Japan or not. If it's more expensive than $10, it's not worth it. Yeah. I have like the Japanese Pokemon Stadium Zero or whatever they call it. Yeah, me too. And I think that's my only non Nintendo game. Or non non American one. At this point. Bubbles man. Dang it. I am not losing the bubbler. If I am, I'm restarting. <laughs> restarting. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's, I'm uh... getting some frame drops. I see it. Must be someone else home now. <laughs> Yay for local internet. Internet. Bubbler. Alright. I actually remember as a child having issues with this boss specifically. I don't know what specifically made it difficult. But I remember having issues with it. <laughs> yeah, bored. If you're from nineteen ninety eight, you're as old as Banjo. That makes me feel 1998. Cheap. <laughs> that's a, that's young. That's young. Yeah. Oh, you're for. You're born in. 89 or what? No, you're younger than I. 91. Yeah, 91. Right? Yep. Yeah, 91. You're younger than I am. Not very much though. No. We're pretty similar. <laughs> one year. Yeah. Yeah, one year. All right, three pieces. We're about oh, we're a little over halfway. Since there's five five matches, there's or five worlds, it's not quite. Yeah, and you still you still have the trophy race to go. Yeah, the trophy race. Oh right, thank thank you for keep bringing that up because I keep forgetting. <laughs> it's funny though because you know in runs, in speed runs you don't do the trophy race last. So oh right, like we, it's so we just leave. Like, we, we actually reset the console when we beat the, the race. Right. Oh. I'm actually excited for the last two levels, Dragon Forest and Future Funland, are probably my two favorite worlds, just the theme wise. I mean, the other yeah, ones are. Really not, cool. Yeah, the other ones aren't bad, but I like space. 
Have you been there? No. <laughs> Wanna go to space. <laughs> I like looking at it from afar. <laughs> Dude. You know, I'm <laughs> you know, I've been taking astrophysics and it's it's not my favorite subject in physics. Yeah. That's something to tell you. But like uh, no, I'm not a big fan of it because the I really like the space thing. Uh -huh. the, the main reason I don't the main reason I don't really like uh, astrophysics is because there's a lot of guessing. Because gotcha. we can't really measure we can't really measure anything, you know what I mean? Yeah. Cause it's like, oh we are like checking the size of the star or like blah 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 and it's like oh but this method was worse than we thought so we were wrong by seven thousand like, percent oh gotcha okay. you know what i mean yeah it's like that stuff all the time it's like oh wait whoops so we forgot this thing and this thing and there's like a lot of stuff and you just guess so i like physics more when it's you know like mechanics and stuff yeah what it's like stuff you can measure when you yeah, exactly. It's something that you can like. Uh, it's fine with like you know quantum physics and stuff like that too, uh -huh. because even though you can't measure it, but it's like you know they aren't you know claiming it's like this is exactly how it is. They yeah. are like you know this is like the theory of this. But in astrophysics, I feel like they are they're claiming a lot more stuff. Gotcha. Interesting. I don't know if I ever actually took a physics class. Now I'm thinking about it. Or there's probably a, uh, if you want Windows 10 to look like Windows 98, there's probably a theme or something you could do. <laughs> okay. So it's really funny. I have this issue at our house where the air conditioning doesn't reach into our, mine and my sister's bedroom. So yeah. to get airflow, we have these screen doors to keep the cats out of our bedrooms. Yeah. I just saw a cat push through the screen to get in here. So now he's sitting <laughs> looking around like oh, the place. Excuse me while I exit a cat from the premises. No. But this is my cat. This is Henry. He's adorable. And he's leaving. Yes, you are! Alright, stop that three. That worked out exceedingly well. Alright. And I'm back. <laughs> I didn't hear anything, just so you know, because I had my headphones off. Join the DKR tournament like this week. Is it next week? What time is it? No, it's 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 so it's uh, over the course of uh, three weeks. Oh, so kind of a do it on your own time kind of thing, or oh, it has to be stream like restream. Yeah, but like you you call it kind of like you decide a time with your opponent and you schedule it on the like the restream channel. Oh, okay, gotcha. And there are three matches and you have three weeks to do them. Gotcha. Okay. So like you can do it whenever you want to, like you and your opponent want. Gotcha. Have you ever okay? So, um, have you ever played Mickey Speedway USA, Giz? Yes, but not much. Not much. <laughs> I have played it though. Yeah. I wouldn't like it better than this game, but it's another decent rare title. <laughs> yeah, I have. Um, I I am friends with the uh, the best player at that game. Oh really? It's called Perf 
perfect because he's from Sweden too. Oh wow. Yeah, so it's pretty fun. Like he he has all Type Five World Records. Oh, that's that insane. I I I like the game, but I struggle at it. <laughs> Yeah, he's really good. You should check him out. Check it's, him out. It's not, he's an interesting guy. Just perfect? Perfect taste. Okay. Yeah. But the funny thing with him, it's like, so I'm friends with him on Facebook as, uh -huh. well, uh, as well, actually. Yeah. Uh, I've met him IRL a few times, uh, but he, he doesn't live close to where I live, especially not now. He lives abroad now. Gotcha. He lives in China. He lives in China. <laughs> oh, wow. But the crazy thing, with him is that when I became friends with him on Facebook, he he was friends with the, my, two of my cousins. Oh wow! Already, yeah. And I was like, wait, why are you friends with them? You know, because <laughs> it was really weird because he lives really far. Away. Like he's he's not from anywhere close to where like we live. Okay. And then he told me it was really weird because he got to know like there is like uh, two siblings. Okay. And he got to know one of them through, like, they took a class together at university in, like, a city yeah. really far north. Uh -huh. So, like, it's, like, not even close to where we live. So, like, they just randomly got, like, to a city that wasn't any of them's homes. They just, like, got in a class there and, like, you know how it is. Yeah. You move away and, like, you got to know someone. Yep. And then, like, a few years later, he took another class in another city and <laughs> there took that class with the sister of him which is also my cousin <laughs> so he went to another university took taking classes and met another one of my cousins there wow so like they were like you know completely like you know when they got to know each other they had no idea that they know you know yeah yeah wow. and then i got to know him through speed running online uh -huh. Which is also like a completely random thing. And then like, you know, we are only t 10 cousins total. Mm -hmm. So he got to know three of us. It's like through completely random, like different things, which is so crazy. That is crazy. It's kind of funny. Um, <laughs> you know, Falco, one of my mods, um, yeah. he's a, uh, he lives about an hour or so from me. And we, we met actually like about a year or so ago. I raided him after playing Splatoon, or he raided me or something, and yeah. found out that we live an hour away, and then found out his wife is from my, or his wife's family is from my area originally, like the small town I live <laughs> yeah. in. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, it's like, crazy. Oh, it's a small world. It's ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that stuff is so, so crazy, actually. Like, I mean, if you find some people, like some weird stuff like that, it's always gonna, you know, <laughs> happen. Yeah. So like one of my best friends in the DTR community, uh, he's called Blake. Okay, yeah. And um, like he's you know probably my best best friend maybe in the community. Yeah, I think and I like follow he, Blake. Yeah, and he, you know, he's from Minnesota, but yeah. his family from like two generations ago is from Sweden. Oh wow. And they're and they're the family grew up like around two hours away from where I live. That's hilarious, actually. Yeah, it was pretty funny, because also, like, he didn't know that. Like, he knew, knew they were from Sweden, but he didn't know where it was, and he went to ESA. You know ESA, right? Yeah. He he came here to Sweden to go to ESA, and ESA it's like, 20 minutes away from where, where his, like, family came from. Okay. And he didn't know that when we were there. <laughs> so, like... He was really close to like where his family was from, but he didn't know it because he we checked it two years later when I was in the U.S. and I was actually at his mother's place and we checked it out, and we were like, wait, like your family's from this place and this is like 20 <laughs> minutes away from where you've actually been. <laughs> oh wow, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, so he had no idea, and he was like in Sweden randomly just because he got to USA. Yeah, that's um, European, I don't know, Speedrunning Association, right? No. Yeah. That's right, okay. Yeah. I was like, I, I know what ESA is, but I was trying to remember what it stood for. Yeah, I think it's Speedrunner Association. Okay. Uh, something, something like that. It has changed name. I think it was Speedrunning first, first, but changed to Speedrunner. I don't know, yeah. it was like something like that. I don't remember exactly. Gotcha. 
No, it was Speedster. It was Speedster first. Speedster? And then they changed it to Speedrunner. Yeah. Interesting. Like the spe yeah, Speedster. And then they changed it to Speedrunning, I think. Or Speedrunner or something. Huh. Do you guys have a... Are, are there a lot compared to, like, here in the States, or...? Um, what do you mean? The ESA? Like, runners and... I mean, like, AGDQ, that's kind of not the same as the ESA, I believe. No, it's... It's very similar. Like, the concept is kind of similar, but... Uh, it's definitely different when you're there. Is there any... But I don't... I was, let's say, is there an equivalent here in America? I mean, ESA and... Games on Quake are kind of the equivalent, so it's okay. So my my brain isn't totally off there. Yeah, no, they are basically the same in that sense. Just that Games on Quake is all large, like larger. Gotcha. It's amazing. I've, I've been, yeah. Yeah, I was about to say it's amazing how big AGDQ has grown in just the last five years or so. Just because I remember watching yeah. it and it being really small, and then just like even this last year, it was gigantic. Yeah, I mean, imagine last, like, even, you know, you watch, like, Tofu's nice cutscenes game. Thank you. I remember Tofu's uh, <laughs> run at SGDQ 13. Yeah. Then there's, like, you know, just, like, it's like a, you know, classroom, you know? It's, like, kind of small. Uh-huh. People have, like, you know, banged up chairs in a row, and they just yeah. sit there, like, 30 people. And, I mean, there were more people there, but then, like... I was there the first time in AGDQ 16. Uh -huh. AGDQ 16 was, you know, very large. Yeah. Because then we had like 500 people in the room instead of like 30. You know? Dang it, I missed. I, this is probably my least favorite key to get. Of course it is, because <laughs> it's the hardest. Yes. Well, it also in involves timing. Yeah. Okay, I broke the game again. <laughs> I'm wondering if it's my Nintendo 64 or if it's my cartridge. Yeah, that's a good question. That's the second Can time. That's the second time Can it's happened both. today. Could be yeah. both. Yeah. Or either, rather. <laughs> I said this console is what 20 something years old. And it's one of and I've played it pretty much the entire time. Hello? Alright. One second. Yeah. Might be the cart. So that might be it too. <laughs> Yeah. What is is years. that a country banjo? Yeah. <laughs> Secret humor man? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, these are his emotes. Gotcha. Yeah, I asked I asked the banjo speedrunning Discord if there was anybody who wanted to uh help while I was watching the first one. Or put for the other games, but I never got to it. <laughs> yeah. But I did join the Banjo speedrunning community, so if I wanted to start Banjo speedrunning. Yeah, and you've done the same in DKR. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in your guys' Discord as well. Yeah. I tried once, and then, as I said, I had the same issue like this, where I broke the game, and I was like, you know what? I'm already that far in, but I'm just going to stop. Yeah. Alright, let's try this again. So maybe maybe I look into getting something a little more reliable before I uh, commit to that. Yeah, I mean all trophy races is short, so it shouldn't be an issue. Yeah. But yeah, like hundred percent. You know, I'm just banjo that. hondo. Yeah, banjo hondo. Do they have different categories for different characters? No, I mean uh, banjo kazooie. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, we don't have different categories for different characters. That's what I thought. I was like, 
Maybe I could go for Pipsy 100%. I don't think anybody does that. <laughs> no, it's terrible. Oops. I'm just gonna get it, restart the map, because I think it saves it if I grab it. It does. Make sure I actually grab it. There it is. Now restart the race. Jeez, just got yeeted to the side. Yep, that's what happens if you go for the right banana. Yeah. If you go for the one in the middle, you're fine. Okay. Born May 2nd. I'm also born in May. But in 1990. I'm born on. Mexican holiday. Cinco de Mayo? Cinco de Mayo, yeah. That's right. Aha! I will remember that now. <laughs> August 16th, 1994. 16. I don't know. I don't think I know anyone. I, mean, I know someone is born in May 2nd, but not yet. August 16th. My aunt is called, she's born in, uh, I mean, she's older, of course, but she's, she, her birthday is August 15th. Yeah. October 10th. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to spoil I know, I just know a person who's born. What? My grandfather is born. The ninth. No, wait. My grandfather is born on the 20th, and my mother on the 15th. And a friend of mine is born on the 9th, but I don't know what this one is. Current millennium, yeah. Oh, jeez. My siblings are actually born, born after the millennium shift. I have, well, I have a sister who's born in 92, but I have two siblings that are born in 03 and 05. Yeah, I just have the one sister, 93. 93. Did you say she lives in the same place? Yeah, we're all, we're all kind of living at home right now. It's kind we'll of... moved a, back. Yeah. Well, I've been trying oh, to... Hi. How's that? It's... It's um, it's something. <laughs> yeah, it's like I haven't, I haven't been living at home for ten years. Uh huh. So I just like, I can't like imagine that anymore. Basically. Yeah, it so was weird. It was one of those things where I was um, I haven't, with given my uh, my degree is in like broadcasting and stuff like that. I wasn't able to find a job full time or paying enough that I could move to a place make my student payments on time and do all that so right now I'm actually working like three or four jobs work living at home and kind of building up a little cushion for myself yeah it's a nice little uh, situation I'm making it work and the whole the whole not having to pay rent and having food taken care of I'm not complaining <laughs> yeah for sure I mean, it's cheap, of course. Exactly. I had a lot of years where I struggled. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, when I was studying and I lived on my own and uh, did that for a couple of years. It's like <laughs> sometimes it were really was really tight. But, yeah. But now, you know, working as a teacher and stuff, it's like now it's not really an issue with money. Honestly, I feel like. Money's like one of my least, like, it's not an issue for me anywhere. That's, that's awesome. Yeah, but I mean, it's, a, it's a, also because, you know, I'm so used to not spending money. Yeah. That, like, my, I live kind of cheap, like, my apartment's kind of cheap. And, like, I don't have a car currently, so I don't have to spend money on that. You know, like, yeah. Ugh. Excellent. Oh, yeah.
But it's interesting. It's interesting. It gives you a weird perspective uh, with, like, you know, having money when yeah. you've had many, many, many years of not having money. Oh, I can agree with that. <laughs> yeah. It's it's really weird because now it's like you know, oh, I, I just want to buy a Switch now because whatever. Yeah. I will have fun with it. Then I just like I don't just really think I just do. It's like you know I can spend like 500 bucks on the games. It's whatever. <laughs> And it's not really gonna be a problem. Yeah, I understand that like, actually. Like like five years ago that would have been a big no no. <laughs> yeah. I can't say I have board. I haven't either. I have never heard of it in my life. Probably an, an American thing. Well, it's not from my area either, so I have no idea. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you said Cincinnati, Kentucky. I've never been in that area. No. Gotcha. Closest I've been is Minnesota. Minnesota. No. <laughs> I've never been to Ohio, though. But we do have a few DKR runners from Ohio. Really? Yep. Who, who's the, uh, the bat? <laughs> Let's see. I know, like the first one. I know, like I'm not sure if you remember Brandy. Okay. She used to run the. She, she doesn't run this game anymore. But okay. She used to run the game. Gotcha. She's from she's from Akron. Okay. Uh, or Akron, or however you say it. Yeah, Akron. Yeah. She so she's from Akron and okay. uh, yeah, and we have a runner. She's called Peaks. And she is from Columbus. Okay. Gotcha. And um, we have a runner called Psychedelic, uh, who is the only, okay, fun fact, he's the only American who has world records in time travel. Oh, wow. But he's from Cleveland. So. Okay. Yeah. And oh, yeah, Prof. Pauli, he's from Ohio. But I don't know. I don't know where which city he lives in. Gotcha. But yeah, we, we have a we have a bunch of the DKR runners from uh, Ohio. <laughs> I like that trick now. The mini games. Yeah, as stubborn as I am, I don't know if I'd be able to uh, commit to speedrunning one game because I, like, even I was I I for a while have been I would consider like a Splatoon streamer. But yeah. I was playing a lot of Splatoon. Didn't get any uh, seriously. Um, I haven't gotten to like the high ranks like all of the other streamers that I've watched, but I had to stop streaming more than once. Uh, that game more than once a week because I would just get irritated and had to stop. <laughs> Damn. So you mean that you're gonna be really mad when I destroy you in the in the Smash? Pretty much. No. <laughs> no, I've been playing Smash, but I'm I'm really just prepping for when Banjo gets there, and then I'm just gonna do whatever it takes to make sure Banjo is my main. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna destroy you, dude. Pretty much. I I suck it I suck at it, but I'm gonna get better so I can destroy you. There you go. <laughs> okay, I just hopped for no reason. That's weird. Or maybe I hit a. You actually you hit the corner, oh, that like a corner. small edge. Yeah, there's like a small edge there when down to like the notes. All right, there we go. All right, we got the whole TT amulet. Congrats. So we're almost there. It's only taken what, three hours? <laughs> two, three hours? Yeah, two, uh, two and a half. <laughs> now to do the coin challenges: finish Whiz Pig's amulet, B 
defeat Whizpig, and then future Funland. I think it's interesting too in Adventure compared to the Tracks mode that Boulder Canyon is the first one in Tracks, but Windmill Plains is in Adventure mode. Yep, maybe that's the case in most tra like in most uh, worlds. Oh really? Yeah. That the order is uh, different. different. Gotcha. Yeah. I think that's the only one I've noticed. But yeah, I thought the, it was the weird. Most, the one you see, like, the one that's most weird in my opinion is uh, Future Fatland. I mean, there you're, a, there, there you're a force to go in a certain order, you know? Oh yeah, that's true. Unless it's too glitch, but you know. But like, you're yeah. forced to go in a specific order. Which is Space to Sally, Darkwing Caverns, uh, Spaceport Alpha, and then Star City. But in the trophy race, they have, uh, like, Space by Alpha is the last one in Star City, so there's second plus. Got, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, you're right. That is weird. Yes, but they have been throwing it around a bit. Huh. I think they have done it in all the worlds except for... Den of the Main? Yep. Yeah. All the worlds except for Dino. Do you, do you know about the repeated... Uh, music tracks, though. Um, do I? The, like, uh, Dying Domain is, I think Dying Domain, yeah, Dying Domain is the only world who doesn't have a repeated soundtrack. I okay, okay, so, quiz. Which ones have the same soundtrack in uh, all the worlds? So, Google, let's start with Sherbet Island. Sherbet Island. Which two tracks, which two tracks share, share the same music? Um, Treasure Caves is one of them. The other yep. is Crescent Island, I think. No. No. Then it'd be Whale Bay. No. <laughs> so, which one is it? Okay. Well, I, oh, I'm putting Haunted Woods in there. I'm like, what's the other one? Whale Bay, Crescent Island, Treasure Caves, and what's that other one? Pirate Lagoon. Pirate. There you go. Yeah. Pirate Lagoon and Treasure Caves have the same. Oh. Alright, this is not good. Well, what about Snowflake Mountain? Which Snowflake tracks Mountain. have the same? I know this one. Snowball Valley and Everfrost Peak. Yes, that's correct. I knew that one. And uh, in Dragon Forest? I would say it's probably this one and um, Greenwood Village. Yes. Aha. Because I know this is the song from Greenwood Village. Yeah. So, when will play in Greenwood Village? And the future of Farmland, which ones? Let me think. I haven't gotten to there in a while, so... Um, Spaceport, or not Spaceport Alpha, um, has its own, and... I'm pretty sure Star City has its own. Let's see, it's. Oh no, wait. Dark Moon Caverns has its own. That's the one that I used actually in my YouTube uh, trailer. Yes, which they use in the credits, which isn't the same. Yeah. But um. So let's see. Rocks. Space Dust Alley, that's what they're called. Yeah, and Space I'm guessing Spaceport Alpha because the other ones... It's it's Space Dust Alley and Star City. Really? Yep. Ah. Oh, no, oh wait, no, come back for it. Space Dust Alley and Star, and, uh, Star City, they have the same... Huh, for some reason... Oh wait, no, 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 Spaceport Alpha has that like military sounding one. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Bro. Right. Yeah. Who is Diddy Kong, right? Yes. Deep Blue. Deep Blue is Diddy Kong. 
and the uh, light loop is uh, tipped up. No! Okay. <laughs> These silver coins are what's getting me in this one. Yep. This is where they get hard. Yeah. Because, like, at first I actually forgot about the uh, one in the waterfall. Yeah. And then I keep kept missing the one on the left in that last little area with the zipper. Yeah, because the zipper redirects you. Exactly. Let's try this. Alright, can I get them all in lap one? Maybe. It's possible. <laughs> it's possible. How much life time is left in my stream? I think I was gonna try and get to more than one game. I didn't get it. Um, but I think I might just end it with when I'm finished with DKR because I still have a whole. I still have a whole new world to explore. Yep. New horizons to pursue. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I noticed there's one thing that I'm really bad at in racing games. So like, collecting the speed collectibles, like the bananas in this game, or the coins in Mario Kart. Yeah. I am so bad, like... I know like you only need 10 to speed up, but I'm always bad at making sure I collect those. I think it's pretty hard. Like. You know, I bought Mario Kart 8 the other day. Yeah. And I hadn't played it before, and I think it's kind of difficult to pick them up as well because I, I don't know what lines take. But like in yeah. DKR, I have routes. You know, like yeah. I know, I know like okay, so if I do this, I'm going for this banana. Like I haven't played it so much that I, I know everything. Yeah, you know, I like, already know everything about it, so I know where to pick everything up. Yeah, for sure. But I think like in Mario Kart, like I don't really pick them up. You know automatically, I just like, oh, yeah. there are three coins there, maybe I should try to pick them up, like, but it's not natural yeah. at all. Alright, I think I might have it this time. <laughs> Ooh, the snipe on Diddy is too good. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I... <laughs> Let's see, we've got... Oh, that was only the first one. Okay. <laughs> There's much, so much to go. I play, I play, I played the uh, track so much that the order's off in my head. The Greenwood Village. That's the, that's the one that most people have issues, like issues with. Oh yeah, I can't imagine why. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that difficult. Yeah, I, I, I see why it's difficult for for casual players. Yeah. Like, it's, it's not that weird. <laughs> I totally get it. But, like, for speedrunners, this is far from the most difficult one. Ooh, unless you do stupid stuff like that. Alright, do the little 360 yeah, that's turn a, that's, thing. But like, one thing that people do wrong a lot when you try to go into that tunnel is that they try to drift over the hill. Yeah. Drifting over, over that hill is really bad. Is that what I did? Like, no, I I'm not sure if you did. Like, I just, I'm not like looking yeah, 24/7. But uh, yeah, that's like a thing that I've seen a lot of people do wrong. Huh? That they drift over it, just drive straight over. One. All right, let's just restart. I'm in eighth place. I'm not gonna catch up anytime soon. <laughs> game, man. There's one that I was missing. It's a good dude. Yeah, you lose all your momentum if you drift over them. Yeah. Like, usually you lose your angle and everything. It's usually with that. Drift over, over that. Okay. 
if I were ever to, well, I wouldn't do a Conquer Marathon because there's only two games. But this is also Conquer's first game. Which I always forget because I never play as Conquer in this game. <laughs> He's not really. He's like kind of different as well in the yeah. Congress Bad Fur Day, so. Just a little bit. I don't truly really blame you. I don't truly really blame you. And he's not that stellar in this game either. In my opinion. He's not what? He's not that stellar in my opinion in this game. Oh. He's a decent character. That one right when you turn in, I always forget it, and the coins are oddly placed in this level. <laughs> you have to hug the walls pretty much. See, in case you think I'm weird in my server. Yeah, in uh, board server, he names all of his uh, the users in his server, in his Discord server. Uh, okay, so yeah. I I never joined. Server. I've noticed that like I used to join like a lot of the servers for yeah. everyone, but like I stopped doing that because I noticed that I never keep up. Yeah, I'm getting <laughs> really like, bad at that myself, honestly. Yeah, it's so hard. I don't know how to keep up with it. Every once in a while, I'll look at other ones, but I have like notifications for mine, and the one and another one that I'm a mod in. But yeah, all the others I turned actually all the notifications off. Yeah, I mean it's understandable. It's just like so hard to keep up with it. Yeah. Right, I got all the. I got all of the coins now to run to the front. And Diddy Kong again is way up front. <laughs> have you, you? You had mentioned you had you have you have done uh, stage tier lists. Have you ever done character tier lists in this game? Well, not a unofficial one. But <laughs> I have done unofficial tier lists in this game. But they are more factual, you know? Yeah. It's like, look, it's not that much opinions. It's like, yeah. you try to rationalize it. Uh huh. Oh my god. I just started playing some Mario Kart. Because... Mario Kart 8? Yeah. 8 Deluxe. Yeah. I'm really bad at it. I am really bad at it too, but I enjoy it. <laughs> it's pretty good. Every once oh, in a while, yeah. as I was say, yeah. every once in a while I'll hop online and do some matches. I have a couple people I watch who stream Mario Kart 8 still, and so I'll go in and play with them, but I haven't played a lot as much recently. There, there are a few things that surprise me in, the, in this game. Like, I wanted to customize the controls, and it wasn't possible to do. And that Wait. is really shocking to me. You can't? Oh. No. Because, like, I wanted, you know, to do more, like, DKR, you know, where... Because sometimes you need to break in the corners, right? Yeah. And I hate that the button for breaking is below the acceleration button. That's, like, really bad. Me, so I wanted yeah. it to be like in DTR. Yeah. And there's like looking around, it's like, how can I adjust this? And I didn't find anything. So I was like, okay, maybe I'm just stupid, you know? And I just checked it on line, and they were like, oh, you can't. Wow. It's like set. Like, are you kidding me, dude? Well, which oh, is funny. Why I is that a thing? I was uh, looking online and found out that on Xbox One you can actually set up um, controls so that different buttons are mapped to different buttons, I guess. Yeah. So, like, when I was doing Banjo-Tooie, I had that Canary Mary race at the very end. 
then uh, you have to hold, you have to like keep tapping the X button, and the X is in a weird spot on the Xbox controller for me to do. Uh, I took a like, I have nasal spray, and the little cap was round enough that I could like spam, use it to spam the button. But the X was yeah. in a weird spot, so I mapped it to Y, and it worked perfectly. But I'm like, yeah, this is it. That's what I want to do, but yeah. I can't do it. I find that weird that Nintendo hasn't done something like that yet. Because I feel like it's really, that... it's really weird. Like, yeah. Really, really weird. Ooh, I mean that's such such a small, you know. Yeah. Small thing to add. I, I don't think it's like it's. Uh, I, I don't know why it's not a, why it's not added. Like I don't understand that at all. This is another one that you can't do all in one lap. The first bit. Alright. So after this, we got one more Smokey and then a Whiz Pig. And then Future Fun. So do you watch a lot of casual stream DK or is it hard for you to watch? I think it depends on my mood. Okay. Like sometimes it can be fun. Yeah. Understandable. <laughs> yeah, but it's like, uh, like you. Okay, so this is how usually how it goes for me. So I don't watch emulator play. So if it's if it's casual, a casual player who plays on the emulator, yeah. I, don't, you know, I don't watch it. Uh huh. Because it's like you know it's such a bad representation of the game, so I just I don't really find any pleasure in doing that. Understand? Yeah. yeah. But if it's like a like a normal guy or girl, you know, who does on the N64, yeah, I'm usually checking it out. Gotcha. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. With all of its little quirks. <sighs> Did he just add more flames the second time? I can't remember what his. Yeah. Second. Okay. I'm not doing as well as I did the first time. What about time trials on uh, uh, board? Okay. I'm gonna be a beef in your channel. I'm gonna be in the call, but there's a friend of mine who's gonna do. He's gonna play the more remake build level than another. Okay. It's like two, two DKR top players. Okay. And, uh, and one guy made a level for another guy, and he's gonna play it right now, so I'm just gonna... Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, no. Do what you need, I'll... I'll be here. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm still gonna... be in the call, but I'm gonna... I'm having this right now. Oh, good. You've seen this match a couple times. Yeah. Uh, so did you get one... Oh, no, you didn't say Mario Maker was one of the games you got. No. Highly recommend the new one. Two hours. Yeah, yeah, it's really, it's really fun. It's all. He also. It's so funny though. Like, I was like considering buying a Switch, you know, and I, uh -huh. I, mean, I bought it, but I was like, 
I was really considering, it's like, oh, I'm looking at Twitches and blah, 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 and I was talking to my friends, uh, like a few of my friends, like, yeah. And then you're like, I bought a Switch two days ago. <laughs> yeah. Like, what? I had no idea. Like, a friend of mine just bought a Switch a few days earlier. So That's weird. That's really good timing. Yeah. All right. No, one last trophy race. Well, not one last trophy race. <laughs> now time for Dragon Forest. Trophy race. have audio on the source. I'm going to turn on the audio on him as well. Okay. I'll be able to hear you soon. All right, you're good. I just want to see, I just want to see what he says. You're all good. Yeah. I'm playing Bowser's Castle and then Mario Party. Uh, Mario. Oh, uh, nice. I love this Boulder Canyon just for the fact that the music changes during the match. Yeah. Although it throws me off when I listen to the actual soundtrack just on my music player or whatever because it's supposed to go at a certain cadence because I'm playing at a certain speed. <laughs> yeah. And it doesn't do that in the actual game. <laughs> started with Boulder Canyon in the trophy race. Yep. I just realized that. are so, so, so playing for so long and as hot as it is right now my hands are like sweating like ridiculous I don't really know how hot it is here but it's kind of it's kind of good yeah. temperature is not too hot but it's like Also, have you, Giz, have you ever played Jet Force Gemini? You know what? I have I have played the beginning of the game, but I I do own the game, but I haven't finished it. Gotcha. Did you know that Greenwood Village is in that game? Oh, really? Yeah, as in like a secret unlockable. Hmm. They have a multiplayer racing mode, and one of the map one of the maps you can unlock is Greenwood Village. That's crazy. Yeah. Is it exactly the same, or yeah, it's exact. I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same. I haven't played it. I should. I should play. I should play through that game, honestly. It's. I'm fun. not sure why. I don't know what what you're playing on. If you're playing it on 64 or yeah, yeah, on the PAL version. PAL version. I'm not sure how. Like, the controls are a little weird to get used to, but once you get used to it, it's great. If that makes sense. Yeah. They actually, for the Rare Replay version on the Xbox One, they redid the uh, controls so it's like more modern. Yeah. So it's not like you're playing on a 64 on an Xbox. Do you have Mario Maker? 
I do. I have made two levels. And that's about it. The new the new one for the Switch, at least. Yeah. I didn't have a Wii U, so I never played the first one. I actually played the first one a little bit, but I, I didn't have one. I just, uh, you know, was playing at my friend's place. Yeah. So much, so much, better. so much of Mario Kart Wii late. Oh, welcome back, SPO, By the way, oh, you was such a mistake. It was good in theory. It the the Wii U walked so the Switch could run. As I said, I didn't have one, but I know Obi, I watched his streams, and uh, actually he did a Let's Play series on Nintendo Land, and I played it with him. And some of the ideas were really good, in, in theory. Last one. This is honestly one of my favorite soundtracks in this game. Or one of my favorite levels. I don't know what that says about me. <laughs> I got a friend request right now, just now. I wonder who that is. Huh? It wasn't me. I know, but because I haven't given you my code. Yeah. Um, but I just, I just got like, you have gotten a few friend requests. I'm like, wait. Actually, Ooh. actually, Giz, you're friends with me on Facebook, aren't you? Yes. If you have your Facebook link, you can add me on there. I think I have my links. I don't. Don't. Okay. I'll we'll check who and. Gotcha. I also do have my. Uh... Oh, nice. Yes, yeah, my it's a friend of mine from Finland. Oh, gotcha. Um, exclamation mark FC in the chat. Um, it can give you my friend code. Actually, I have it for when I play Splatoon. Okay. There you go. If you wanted to add me on Switch, I don't have my Switch on right now, but. That's fine. Yeah. Seven nine three zero. Four, five, 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 seven, eight, nine, three. There you go. Okay, and I'll accept bunny. it when I'm on my switch next. <laughs> now you bunny. know it's me. <laughs> yeah. All right. Time for the thing that scarred my uh, childhood. This this cutscene right here gave me nightmares. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. <laughs> the statue laughing. Yeah. <laughs> Just the, the the noise and then the yeah. like evil the lingering lighting, yeah that too. Yeah, like the lingering noise. Yeah. So time to go face Whizpig. Or Gizpig as some people know him. Yeah. Banjo's just like, what's going on? I don't understand. <laughs> yes, exactly, SBO. Alright, let's see if I can uh, first try this. Nope. Well, maybe. Nope. 
Okay, I miss that zipper almost every time. I'm curious, I wonder who the voice of Whispig was. Um, I'm gonna look that up later. Actually, he... I think it's the same as who... He, he does other... He, he shares, like, he does multiple voices. Yeah. I think, like, I think, like the guy who does... Um... Was it Chris Sutherland? Because he did Banjo, I think. Yeah, I think it was the guy who did uh, Banjo 2, like okay. Crunch or something like that. Okay. Okay, so it wasn't a first try. Wow, I am sucking so bad at this. if I did it on stream or if I did it by myself, but I tried the Out of Bounds for WizPig 2 and actually was able to get it. Out of Bounds? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> that running animation, yes. We got it. Now time to sit through credits. Yeah. So WizPig 1 or WizPig 2, which one's better? They're both like kind of similar. <laughs> yeah. Just be glad that there wasn't a Whiz Pig three with the hover. Exactly. <laughs> TT's from New Jersey. Most of these characters. Pigs in space. It's nice. Yeah, it's very nice of them to say goodbye. So, what I don't understand from a, you know, story perspective, he left. <laughs> Why are we pursuing him? 
I'm not sure. It's, Maybe get... because he destroyed the party. Maybe. Uh... I could reset now, probably. Does it care? Except my reset button doesn't work. I'd have to turn it off and back on. <laughs> That's totally fine. It'll save me a little bit of time. <laughs> Chase him too if you mess with my party. <laughs> yes. Nineteen ninety seven. So this game is twenty two years old now? <laughs> Almost. Almost, yeah. Alright, time for the final bit. Hello, select your abracadabra. I don't have to worry about getting the other trophies because I already got them. Dark Moon Cabin's music. I, they reused it for this and the credits. <laughs> yeah. Because it's the best music in the game. Debatable. But it's good. What would you consider your, your um, best music in the game? I don't know. Uh, I love the the whiz pick theme. That's a good one. Because I think it's not only you know because it's really good. It's also that you know it's. Okay, question. If I got the cutscene skip in Future Funland and restarted the race, would it put me in the Silver Coin Challenge? Yes. Okay. Because obviously they, you know, close it out. But if I get stuck in, I'm not sure if that would be how it worked or not. What did they, can you say that again? I was I just wasn't sure if that was how it worked or not. Yeah. Because I don't think it's like that in the other worlds. No, it's not. So maybe I'll tr I'll try it this time. <laughs> I was doing really good with the cutscene skips before I had to restart <laughs> the last time. But it's hard. Oh, yeah. No. I do like this music, though, in, uh, Future Funland probably the most out of all of them. Just in general. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, not uncommon for people to say. Like, I, I, I don't think it is, but I know a lot of people agree with you. Yeah. I don't know what it is, it just has a different feel to it than the other ones. It's like, but I mean, it's like futuristic. Yeah. I got it! Okay. Pause buffering is the thing. <laughs> yeah, it is. Good, good job. Thank you. I'm tricking the game. <laughs> I'm just showing that I've Steve actually. Understood. I've actually yeah. learned stuff from watching you stream. Yeah, that's good. I was about to say, I thought it was up here. Alright, we're missing 
two. I think I know where they both are. I'm not at the final lap, so no. <laughs> Because there's like three different rainbow roads in Mario Kart 8 yeah. Deluxe. Yeah, it's so weird. And I'm kind of still miffed that they made the uh, Nintendo 64 rainbow road only one lap instead of three. Yeah. <laughs> because it's so freaking long. Yeah, dang it. Missed. I'm playing with Bowser. Okay. Because I wanna, you know, go fast, but holy shit. Yeah, there is a remix of Dark Moon Caverns that Ben Briggs did back. He did a whole Diddy Kong Racing remix album. Yeah. And I used and that I for my uh, YouTube channel trailer. <laughs> Even got permission from him and everything. I think that's the most effort I've ever put into anything on my YouTube channel. Are you talking about in Rainbow Road Ford? I love that trumpet in that song. Ugh. Is the reason that I like banjo so much is because I'm a music nerd? I'm thinking I'm just realizing this. <laughs>
So this is the level that had the one Japan only uh, out of bounds. Right? Uh, sorry. Spaceport Alpha. And it's in that annoying little area that. Uh, the laser room? The shooting, yeah. Wait, what'd you call it? The laser room. Laser room, yes, that makes more sense. Okay, I don't lo usually listen to this music with headphones, and there's instruments that I've not heard before. Yeah. It's, it's a really cool song, actually. It is. Um, so, would you say that the uh, DKR speedrunning community is pretty big? I think it's medium size. Medium size. I think I've watched a couple of, I mean, just based off of, you know, like the Discord and watching your streams and people that interact with you, it seems like it's decent size, but not like overwhelming. Like the Mario 64 yeah. speedrunning community or anything oh, like that. Def yeah, definitely nothing. It's nothing compared to that, those, you know. Nope. But it's, uh, I mean, it's pretty. It's not bad, of a size. I think it's pretty, pretty good size, to be honest. Yeah. Like, because then you kind of have a grip on, like, all the players. Yeah. You know, it's like, because I imagine being, like, you know, Funkation. You know, there's no way he's going to keep up with all the players in Mario 64. Like he, like there's gonna be hundreds of players that he never interacts with or never get to know or you know, yeah, he has no idea, which I don't blame him for, you know. But it's like you know, DKR is pretty fun because then you can like get to know like every single player. Yeah. There are very few runners that where I'm like, oh, I have no idea who this is. Yeah. God. These turns are insane. And I don't want to use my brake button. Oh, on Rainbow Road still? Yeah. I'm doing time trials. Gotcha. I thought you were commenting on my brakes for Star City. I was like, <laughs> I think you have to use the brakes to turn on these. Way theme was used four times. In what? In what are you? What context board? C four. Probably the limitations of the hardware, I'd imagine. I saw like some someone reviewing uh, Mario Kart 64 versus DKR, uh -huh. and someone said that like Mario Kart 64 had overpowered music compared to DKR, and I was like just laughing. Overpowered music? You just like you know, it's like that the uh, the music in Mario Kart 64 was just so much better than the the one in DKR, and I'm like, wait, what are you talking about? Yeah, I think they're I think they're confused. They're backwards. <laughs> yep. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love my I love a couple of tracks from Mario Kart 64, but I'd rather listen to this soundtrack than the other one. For sure. I mean, it said like it has a few decent tracks, but like generally, it's just so much worse. Yeah. David Wise was a wise man. Or is a wise man. He's still alive. <laughs> yeah. Someone's biased in chat. Someone. Yeah, board is really biased towards Mario Kart Wii. Because what I find is funny, like, because, you know, people I talk to about this game and, you know, Compared to, you know, Mario Kart 64 and stuff. Yeah. 
people always be like, oh, but you're so biased towards uh, DKR, yeah, blah, yeah. blah, you know? But yeah, but the funny thing is, you know, as I mentioned earlier, like Mario Kart 64 is probably the game I played most as a kid. Uh -huh. Like out of all games. Like, I mean, DKR doesn't even come close to how much I played uh, Mario Kart. Yeah. So, like, all the, like, I have no nostalgia for DKR, but Mario Kart 64 is like one of the most nostalgic games. So, I would. DKR is overpowered music, it's definitely not a bias. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And I just think it's amazing with the speedrunning and how all these games have become popular again. It's yeah. Like... Speedrunning is interesting with that, I think, because. Like speedrunning is just like it's such a good way to create replay value. Yeah. Which I think game developers are starting to take that hint. Yeah. Because they'll add like speedrunning modes or do things that'll help. I don't remember which game it was. I was. I don't know Celeste. Maybe it was Celeste. Yeah, that had something that was basically that. Maybe it was. Celeste like... is a good game. I haven't I actually really played like it. <laughs> Oof, it's great. I think that's on Switch, isn't it? It is. I played it on PC though. Oh, gotcha. But but the game is really good. Like a really good game. No. I am so backwards with the silver coins for future fun land. <laughs> I think I'm remembering some coin locations from Adventure 2. Yeah. I think that's like, messing me up. Dude, how am I supposed to make this fucking turn? <laughs> That one's rough, and then, uh... Is that the- are you talking about the turn at the very end? No. No. But, I mean, in general, because I'm like trying to just hold a- all the- all the time, you know? Yeah. I'm trying to accelerate all the time. So there's the other one. And it's- and with Bowser, it's really yeah. hard. Because his turns are so bad that I just drive right off. Gotcha. Yeah, typically my my go-tos for Mario Kart are Waluigi and Inkling Boy. Those are the two I think that I've been playing as. Yeah, better turning. Yeah. And Waluigi's still heavy-ish, but not yeah. like, but he can still turn. All courses matter. Yes, Espio, we know. Ah, oh, Diddy is so far ahead. What is up with? Or that might be hip up actually. Oh, he did it. Just tipped up the legend. Yeah, I still have that picture I made for you, the swag tub picture. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. I found. I randomly found it. I think it was yesterday, actually. <laughs> swag tub. Okay, time to play Baby Park. Baby Park. Eight laps, right? I think it's seven. Is it seven? No. We'll check. Yeah, it's seven. It hasn't been that long since I've played Mario Kart, but I don't pay attention to stuff like that. <laughs> I did have a... There's a guy that I fought, or that I met on Twitch. His name's... He goes by Time Woven, and he does... Uh, 200 CC arenas, basically, for uh, Mario Kart on his stream with his viewers. 
and I'm not sure what your what CC you're playing on right now. But uh, 200 CC Rainbow Road, the pain. Oh yeah, I can imagine. But uh, I'm just playing my, my I bought the game. Like, yeah. Uh, so, like, I'm real scrub in this game. Gotcha. GBA. I forget about the GBA game, even though there are some courses in there. Yeah. I never, I never actually played Super Circuit Mario Kart. The only racing game I had for the Game Boy Advance was Banjo Pilot. <laughs> I had the Pokemon Sapphire. Oh, I was just talking racing games. <laughs> oh. I don't think there's any other racing games. Uh, there was a Nicktoons one, I think. What about Mickey? <laughs> Mickey was for the Game Boy Color, but was that actually released, or was that one that... Because you were supposed to be able to uh, connect with your transfer pack to, um, to the actual N64, so you could uh, unlock a character. With Mickey. Hey, Torterra Bite, welcome to the stream. Yes, it is the best racer of all time. It is. People in this chat know what they're talking about. Yes, I have. I have a smart chat. I actually have a transfer pack. You you do or you don't. Huh? You yeah, say I do. You, I you do. do. I yeah. do have a transfer pack, yeah. I have mine from Pokemon Stadium. Yep. I got mine when I bought my stadium. Oh, nice. Proper, proper remake of DKR on Switch? I would buy it. I'm afraid, though. Oh, I'd be totally afraid of... Well, because, yeah, it wouldn't be the original team. Probably. Yeah. If I'm not sure if they would butcher it or if they would just, you know, it would actually be a good game. They should do what similar what they did with like the crash. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. I didn't play the original, but the Doctor Field was good. I'm going for it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't play the original, but. Like, even just the Banjo-Kazooie and Tui ports on Xbox, if they just basically did that, where they make this game, but upgrade it, I'd be okay yeah. with that. WizPig in HD. I need more nightmares. Wait, you don't get to do the uh, trophy race for this right out of here, do you? Do you need to leave uh, the race, the Whisper race? Right. Do you want to do the trophy? I probably should do that first. Yeah, because we're, we're here. I can just imagine how optimized this record is. Like Baby Park. Like Baby Park too. Yeah. Oh, I have to watch the cutscene first. You do. <laughs> well, look here, it's the little worm. Someone's played this a couple times. <laughs> yeah. All right. A few so times. Yeah. Here and there. <laughs> Let's do the trophy race first. Oh yeah, for all y'all who haven't been in here, my guest today is Giz. He's a speedrunner, DKR speedrunner. Hey, Obi. That's right. We are actually almost done. We are at, well, after the trophy race, we'll be pretty much done with it. 
Yep. It's only taking four hours, it's fine. Although I can't even say it's a glitchless run because we did the uh, I did the cutscene skip for the <laughs> first space test alley. Learning. You, I don't know, did you make it at all in here today, Obi? Were you here when we uh, were doing the Out of Bounds glitch earlier? Because that was fun. Yeah. You learned. Yeah. It'd be nice if Nintendo could add a DLC that people could create their own tracks. Oh, that'd be interesting. You like Mario Kart? Mario Kart Maker? No, I'm playing Mario Kart right now. Yeah. Mario Kart Maker, yes. Should I say, how bear you? Ugh. Should be brand Mario Kart. I choked it. Nintendo Kart? How about Super Smash Kart? Build on that franchise. Because we already have Link and uh, Villager in here. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting ready to have my 10 year class reunion this year. Like next month. Yeah. It's actually this year for me. It was 10 years ago when yeah. I graduated high school. In 2009? Or... Yep. Okay, 2009. so we actually graduated the same year then. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, we, we graduate one year later in Sweden. Interesting. Oh, you children. Oh, Obi, I can't help it that you're the old man of the group. board. I actually never played Double Dash, so I'm not sure how that works, actually, the special items or the... Yeah, I never played Double Dash. I think I, think I offended them. <laughs> yeah. To be fair... I haven't played it, but not that many times. Yeah. I think I played it maybe once with Adges, one of my other guys in the chat, but that's about it. Uh, and that was like once in like 2004. <laughs> I was in like junior high or high school.
Do you get any special thing for uh, getting the trophy in Future Fun Land? No. Okay. I was trying to remember. I think it gets rid of the uh, trophy thing down on Timber Island, but that's about it. Yeah, but the thing is, like, it doesn't even show anywhere. No! I broke it. My least favorite part of Star City, this little uh, thing that goes into the golf ball. Oh. <laughs> I ended up in the, the rich. Geomont. I ended up in the geometry. <laughs> uh. At least I have a whole lap to catch up. trophy race, so I'm just gonna hope for the best. Yeah. It's because you stopped watching Obi. Done, though. I know. Can you believe it? I mean, yeah. <laughs> Too much pressure, I'm out. <laughs> I see. Just wants me to fail. That's who? <laughs> surprised though, in this level specifically, Spaceport Alpha, that there isn't more than one out of bounds. Why is that? Just because this, all of the areas that are just using the geometry and the skybox with some invisible walls. Yeah. Or maybe because of that, maybe they looked harder at the geometry, I guess? I don't know. I think they just made the walls really high. Sniped. Sniped by the Diddy Kong. The one and only. But he probably should not be in second place because I'm probably going to get a second place trophy because of how oh, bad no. I did in the last. What will be a fusion between Phoenix Wright and Star Wars? So is Phoenix Wright going to be like a Gungan or something like that? <laughs> ah, good, I made it. I was nervous, actually. <laughs> Three wins is uh, automatically a trophy win. Okay. I couldn't remember so that. So if you win three, it doesn't matter. Okay, that makes well, me feel better. Wait, yeah. Well, I made it to like, I, I ended at like sixth place, the last, that one that I didn't do well on. Well, well, technically you need to get fourth, so I think I guess you weren't 100% sure. Okay. Because, you know, in the run, in the speed runs, yeah. you get fourth uh, twice. Gotcha. Like, uh, but that's not an issue because getting first three times and then fourth is always going to make you win. Okay. Noted. Uh, I think I'll just do this the casual way first. <laughs> Hold off on the out of bounds. 
Do you even remember how to do the run? Oh yeah, I do. You can't? No. Like the full start boost. Seems like it doesn't let you. That's weird. To me. Yeah. I think it's because the turn is so sharp. <laughs> Feel you remember me watching me board this level, so I did stream it. Okay, I did the out of bounds on stream then. <laughs> and that was a way back. Oh, dang it. Yeah, I couldn't remember, OB, if I streamed that or if I uh, just did it by myself, but apparently I did it on stream. I've also done it on stream. Okay. <laughs> Long ago, I think it was doing trying to figure out how to speed run it. Yeah, that was a while ago. <laughs> you really only need one speed boost to do the out of bounds, don't you? Yep. I thought it. Let's see if I can do it first try. Nope. I started too early. That's fine. I don't care. <laughs> There's this this level, this state, well, just in particular, is so tight. Wait, what did? <laughs> All right, Obi, I won't. I'll do it. I'll do it the right way. Cheat. I'm not using any cheat codes. That's right, I'm not putting in any cheat codes. <laughs> Just breaking the geometry. Just using what's available. Yeah, we've had a discussion about this a couple times just in the last. Uh, because we were talking about some. I think there was a glitch or something in Banjo Kazooie that I was using. Oh! In Banjo Tooie, how you can collect the Cheeto pages and get like what they call cheats, but they're like game legal cheats. Yeah. I don't really get the argument that it's cheating to use glitches, though. Yeah. I disagree with that argument. Very hard. Because, like, the definition of, of like, cheating is, you know... Because I, I think, like... Depends on, like, what you have discussed, you know? Yeah. And it's like, if you... Because cheating is, like, doing something that you're not allowed to do. Yeah. It's definitely word. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and I can, I can like see why people think it is, it is like a cheat just because it's something that they aren't used to. Yeah. But it's technically not a cheat. Oh, I'm not gonna win this, aren't I? Oh wait, wait, wait! Oh my gosh! Is it? Uh. Oof, the clutch. The clutch. The clutch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I actually I was expecting to have to uh, restart that. 
done with the game. Done with yeah. the game a hundred percent. Yeah. And it only took four hours. <laughs> that was my estimate. That is what you, yeah. Uh, and that was with two freezes of the game too. <laughs> yeah. Two freezes and. But Wait. it's t <laughs> it's so funny though, cause like. Well, what what is, does it mean to intend? That's the thing. Like that word is means nothing. Like intention means nothing. <clears throat> so you're definitely wrong about that one. But like, yeah, I mean, I know why why people say it, but it's not it's not really right. It's not a good argument to talk about it, like intended routes. But yeah, no, this I like this game. I should play it more often. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a great game. I'll have to. So do you have a? I can't remember, guys. Do you have a set schedule that you stream, or? No, I just stream whenever. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure. Uh oh, he doesn't require an extra. <laughs> it has no meaning in this case. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to get to Banjo Pilot today, because I usually stop around 3 and it just turned 3. So... Because I don't like it. No, because how do you know what the... How do you know what creators intend? Like, that's that has no meaning in this, in this sense. <laughs> it's like, you know, let's say you play like a sport, you know, and you come up with like a new technique, but it wasn't the intended technique when when the game was created. Is that cheating? Like, no, it's not. Like, maybe it's not the intended way, but it's not cheating because it's within the rules. We have something to think about now. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, that's, a, that's the thing, like, if you look at, like, most Speed runners. That's exactly the same. A lot of speed runners would, yeah, that's they couldn't patch. Um, a lot of speed runners exploit games to use, but we wouldn't accuse them of cheating to, because we established that certain things are allowed. Like you know, just take Mario 64 for example. The backwards long jump, a lot of people, a lot of runs, they allow it, but not all of them. Yeah. Yeah. The only run that's not allowed is seven star. Yeah. Woo! Crazy. So we establish new rules, which is fine. There we go. One more game. Wait, is this gonna have the uh... This has all the TT times in it now, doesn't it? Yeah, it should have. It used to cheat as well. Oh, right. An actual, an, an actual cheat code. An actual cheat code, yes. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many cheat codes with this game, though. I used to have a list somewhere. We had a Tips and Tricks magazine. And yeah. it had like a stack of Diddy Kong Racing secret codes. To be continued, but when? <laughs> Free fruit, 10 bananas. Yep. There is the fuel. Times. There you go. Rocket fuel. Is rocket fuel the one that, uh, 
makes bananas make you go slower. No, the rocket field is uh, th th those, that's bogus bananas. Bogus bananas, right? Yep. Rocket fuel does what? All balloons blue. All balloons. Right, 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 right. And they only worked in uh, tracks mode, if I remember right. Yep. Most of them. Yep. Well, not in time trials. Okay. That's the thing, like, uh, only team means Arnold and Abermouth work in time trials. Huh. Alright, so, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just call it a stream. Giz, thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for hanging out. And yeah. I'm gonna put in your uh, shout out again in the chat. This is genuine. If you wanna see some fast DKR. Yeah, if you wanna see some fast DKR, like a quarter of the speed, or yeah, a quarter of the, or four times the speed of what you just saw today. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, yeah. I believe it's not cheating, but it's just a bad argument. Obi's a lawyer, if you didn't know Giz, so it's it's his job to know these things. Yeah, but he's he's wrong here. He's wrong here. That's true. That's a, that, I could I'd love to argue this with him. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to. Yeah. Because he's not he's not correct here. He's not correct. Because it, it's within his own definition. Hmm. So that's why he's wrong. Because you, you can't you can't use your own your own definition of cheating as an argument, and you know that's a lawyer. You have to see it in the law, you know. So that's how it is. All right. So <laughs> as I said, thanks, Giz, for joining. We're going to yeah, no on problem, um, what's today? Thursday. Yeah, today's Thursday. So Tuesday, we're going to be uh, hitting up Banjo Pilot, and then depending on how long that takes, maybe start. Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing, and then, uh, that's in Bolts After, so, um, I don't know, do we want to keep arguing for a little bit, or are we gonna... <laughs> <laughs> it's like I could, that's fine. Um, well, if you'd like, we have no, a dis... I was say, we No, have... I was just gonna say that, I was saying that the word intention is kind of difficult to define, that's what I said, mm. and that's why the argument of saying that using glitches is cheating because it's not intended. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying that I'm not using it as an argument. I'm saying that the counter-argument that you're trying to use is not possible because the word intention isn't easy to define. That's why. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, let's say I'm not... I, yeah, as I said, I'm going to probably wrap this up, which is... But yes, thanks for joining, and thank you guys all for watching. Who are we? Well, we have like six viewers, so I probably won't raid any. I don't even. My phone is. My phone has not been keeping a charge for a week. I usually check on my phone to see uh, who to raid, but we're just gonna go ahead and uh, stop for today, and we'll see you later. My Discord, I just linked in the chat if you want to join that. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and we'll see you hopefully Tuesday. So we'll see you later. Back. See ya.